Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Games Done Quick Hot Fix. This is PB Precipice, the show that is all about runners close to a PB in their speed run. We have on my good friend, shenanigans underscore. Shen, how are you? Hello, doing pretty good. Ready to uh, get started whenever we're ready? Yeah, go ahead. Take it away. Sweet. Uh, just to explain a couple things beforehand, I'm playing on Crystal Speed Choice. And this is going to be a full item randomizer with hidden items included and all the date and time items included. And I'm going to be going for PB attempts. Uh, it's a bit of a weird category to say going for PB, but I have a 215 in this category. I'm going to try and get faster than that. And to explain a couple things about speed choice, this is a modified version of Crystal where I can uh, put on item render mode and hit A. And that's going to change a bunch of settings within the game. Uh, so for example, I can go through here and you can just see some of the changes like uh, better encounter slots, better marts, stuff like that. Uh, on this page, I'm going to turn a bunch of options on so that rods always work and so that eggs hatch quickly. And on the final page, I'm going to put on start with bike because that's fast and I'm ready to get started whenever you are. Yeah, go ahead and give a countdown whenever you feel ready. Sure, let's get started in three, two, one, go. And to save all of our vision, I'm going to play at nighttime so it's a little bit darker and it's not like... <laughs> I destroying bright. <laughs> <laughs> I always play nighttime for that. Shen, what is your uh, what's your like goal in this category? What's your ideal time? Uh, I'd like to get sub two. It kind of requires getting pretty lucky on your seed. Um, <laughs> nice. I get the item finder first item, and contrary to popular belief, the item finder does not help you find items in this game. <laughs> uh, Imagine if to... it changed the item pool to be better. <laughs> <You got laughs> yeah. That. We we have a joke where we all want the item finder to tell you like where one random key item is. It's like oh, yeah, that's I why like we that. get one item. That's good. All right, so pretty important part of the run. Uh, this is also a randomizer, so Machoke not typically a starter. Um, let's see, Teddy Ursa also not typically a starter. Houndoom also not typically a starter. Uh, the Kirby Air Ride fans are popping off right now. But <laughs> hot dog on screen, by the way. Yeah, one hot dog end. <laughs> How many? There's what five in Gen Two? Yeah, there's two? five hot dogs in Gen Two. Man, we're already you know dumping what? and jumping into like deep lore and memes. <laughs> <laughs> we're like one minute in. This is too fast for all of them. Jen, we should change. <laughs> we should change our run at SGDQ to a hot dog race. <laughs> for the Kirby stream battle, right? Five hot dogs. <laughs> Ooh, okay, that's pretty nice. Dragonite on Route One. Okay, I'm gonna check my Hound Doom here. That's pretty fantastic. I'm that not is gonna an lie. unbelievable move set. Yeah. Uh, so right there, I picked up the first item. That's an antidote. That's not typically an antidote. And then once I get over to this tree here, uh, I'm going to yank the entire thing out of the ground in one one swift motion. It will give me one item. So normally, like berry trees, you can come back and get more berries. Uh, we're just gonna you know yank this thing out of the ground, and it's a full restore. Very cool. Uh, so all the berries are shuffled into the item pool as well. So that's one of the things that is going to be uh, hunted throughout the run. I'm going to buy a couple balls, a couple potions, oh, nice menuing, and a couple repels. And we're going to head on up to the second route. There's a bunch of items on this one. Uh, and this is also where the first fight's going to be. This Houndoom is pretty good. I think I can take it at least for now. Uh, we talk a lot about like our main Pokemon in this run. Uh, this Houndoom is uh, going to be at least our main for a little bit. That's a good item to find, HMO1. Hey, you know, something I should have asked. Should I put my uh, tracker on the stream? I totally forgot to ask if the tracker should be on there. Uh, <laughs> uh, we, I also didn't think about that. Um, uh, in, the, uh, in the first break, we can, we can, we can figure that out. Okay, yeah, sounds good to me. Thanks. So we have Cut and Plain Badge. Plain Badge is a pretty good badge to get for a couple of reasons. Um, first off, it gets you a free item. You get the Goldenrod because you get the Plain Badge. You can get the Squirt Bottle from the Squirt Bottle Girl. And then the second reason is it'll let us use Strength later when we find Strength. Uh, so that'll be really nice to grab. Uh, we also have the HM for Cut, which uh, could also be useful. Cut has a lot of items attached to it. Yeah, and so I'm an, going to save here. An interesting thing in this particular run and in like key item randos and pull item randos is that 
uh, the HM usage is still locked behind relative badges. So like you might get fly, but you can't actually use it until you have yep. the proper badge. So it's like two key items are needed for HM usage. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's, I didn't even it's see flamethrower. <laughs> yeah, I, was, I saw flamethrower, earthquake, thunder, and it's like, oh yeah, this is great. <laughs> I saw thunder and earthquake and was like, oh, it's perfectly runnable. <laughs> it yeah. also has flamethrower. Thunder Earthquake would be a little risky because Gligar, but I had Seismic Toss regardless, so it could have at least gotten through that. Yeah, something to talk about, like, our movesets and whatnot, whenever we're thinking about, like, what Pokemon we're going to use for the run, is, uh... There's, like, move coverage, so, like, certain type combinations hit more Pokemon than others. I'm going to grab this item out of Logic, so this is Dark Cave. I don't need to get this item right now. Uh, it won't be in the quote-unquote Logic until I have Flash, but it's always worth grabbing because it's just one free item. And unfortunately, it's just an Ultra Ball here, but that could have been, you know, anything. I've had that be Fly before. Oh, nice. Speaking of badges, a pretty good start. Already two badges out of the 16 I need. Nice free rare candy, and final item for this route is a Hyper Potion. Um, should probably mention like what I need to finish. So yeah. I need all 16 badges. There's 16 badges in this game. Uh, and on top of the 16 badges, I'm also going to need uh, the Pokey Gear and the two Radio Cards. Uh, that will get me access to the Snorlax, and I need to wake up the Snorlax in front of Diglett's Cave in order to progress to the left side of Kanto. And then once I'm in the left side of Kanto, I can get to Mount Silver and Pallet Town, uh, which is where I need to go to finish. So I need the three Pokegear components, um, as well as the uh, 16 badges, and that's how I'll be able to finish the run. So hopefully I can get at least a few badges in the early game. Getting two is actually really nice. Uh, typically only have like zero to one at this point. Uh, this is one of the Runes of Alf puzzles. Each of these Runes of Alf chambers has a little puzzle you can do. to get four items. This one's just used an escape rope. Nothing important back here, but the protein's nice because that'll sell for a lot of money. And this is going to be the first time-gated event. This is one of the day and time siblings up here. Ooh, come on. And I get the pass. Okay, so that's really good. Um, the pass is one of the best items to find because it gives you access to Kanto. Uh, so I'm going to YOLO the gym and skip Sprout Tower because since I have access to Kanto and I have the bike, that means I have access to Cycling Road as soon as I get to Goldenrod. This is perfect. Uh, and when I get to Cycling Road, there are Pokemon up to level 33 there. So I can switch over to a very high level Pokemon as soon as I gain access to Cycling Road. Uh, and I need to beat the gym in order to get the Goldenrod. I feel like, yeah, if, if there's any Pokemon to uh, YOLO a first gym with, it's this one. Yeah, this is a pretty good Pokemon for just YOLOing the gym. So I'm going to save again. <laughs> need to be a little bit safe here, because you never know when you're going to get owned by a water type or something. I'm really afraid of Quagsire right now with this Hound Tomb. If it has either of its stabs, uh, I am not able to KO that in one turn. But getting Sleep Powder is pretty massive, because you can always cheese a fight if you have Sleep Powder. Okay, really good XP here. Already level 10 is great. Might live a hit, Sand Slash a little bulky, thanks. And in the Faulkner. So this is technically the last fight that I need to do before Goldenrod. One of the modifications for Key Item Randomizer specifically is that the Cut Bush in Ilex Forest has been removed. Uh, that's one of the modifiers that you can put on. So because the Cut Bush is gone, uh, I can actually just Blitz straight to Goldenrod from here which is pretty fast, so I can get right to Goldenrod and then take the pass to get to Kanto. Oh, I have Earthquake for this. <laughs> I don't know if Earthquake would have killed anyway. Very nice. Just spam fire. Yeah, very comfortable Faulkner. I actually didn't take any damage in the gym. Pretty unheard of. So Faulkner is going to give me two items, because normally you get a TM and the badge, but nothing important here. Also gives us a little bit of information about what 
Faulkner's TM is going to be when we find it. It'll be acid armor, which isn't super useful. And Elm's gonna call us about this egg, which we need to grab. And this is just one of those like little plot things that you have to do in order to progress. So now that I've picked up the egg here, uh, the guy who blocks you and gives you the miracle seed south of town is gonna just let us go past. So now I can just head south. You always have to fight Faulkner, unless you get the Squirt Bottle, and then you can go through the Sudo Widow to get out of town. But you have kind of two options. One of them is guaranteed, one of them is random based off the items that you find throughout the run. Let's see what you get here from the egg. Obviously not going to be super useful. Oh my god, the pace that we're on right now. I oh, cannot believe this. The hot dog pace. <laughs> oh if, my if, god. If I catch Ante, can we, can, can we change the... Uh, yeah. The objective. <laughs> sure. This is the sickest Kirby Air Rider of all time. <laughs> this is... This, this is just... We're going too deep into lore right now, but I do a meme category called Kirby Air Ride uh, 5 Hot Dogs Percent. If you know the meme category from the actual Kirby Air Ride community, uh, they get 5 hot dogs and call time. Uh, Kirby Air Ride stands for Key Item Randomizer, but you also implement randomized rotation into enemies, or Kirby Air Ride for short. Uh, obviously, it's a game for the GameCube, but it's also, you know, a game mode in Key Item Randomizer. And uh, <laughs> if you get all five hot dogs, then, you know, you're on sick pace, because <laughs> you've, you've yeah. got the hard part out of the way. <laughs> Worth explaining, <laughs> hot dogs are fire-type dog Pokemon. Yes, so. all the five fire-type dogs. In Gen 2, it's Growlithe, Arcanine, Houndour, Houndoom, and Entei. Yeah. It's actually still the case all the way up till Generation 8. They've not released a hot dog since uh, Generation 2. Oh yeah, I guess Delphox line is the like newest edition. Well, clearly Fox is. Fox is dog? Debatable. We Okay, when you and I did the Emerald EX hot dog race, we counted the <laughs> Delphox line. That's true, we did. I think we counted Ninetales, too. Yeah, I think by that definition, the nine tails would count, which muddies the water a little bit. You know what? I, I I fully disagree. We only did that because there's like 900 Pokemon and it made it realistic to get five hot dogs. <laughs> well, we were looking for one hot dog. Our, it was That's true. Yeah, we, we did only need one. That is correct. <laughs> Find Fox? the hot dog in the food court. <laughs> are they not? Are... are uh... Are foxes not in the same family? Are they not also uh, uh, Canis, or is it lup lupus? Okay, we, we need some animal experts in chat. I'm looking it up. Fox scientific name is Vulpes Vulpes. Oh, is that where Vulpix comes from? It must be. Wow, we're learning a lot. Oh my god. All right, so they're in a different family because wolves and coyotes and dogs are Canis, family Canis, and, or Canis. Uh, and Fox's family, Vulpes. So I guess it's different. Oh yeah, do we count Flareon? <laughs> Is that a cat? Um, well, Eevees are based off of, um... This is a good bit. This is a good bit. Yeah, so that's why we don't count EV. I think right, it makes right. total sense. Yeah, I, I agree, actually. I heard just, that. And yeah, just the EV line in general, it's like you know, complicated and whatnot. Yeah. Uh, anyway, we went through four, so we haven't really found any items here, so we're going to go ahead and grab this last item. One more hidden in the daycare. Uh, I can also get encounters here, which is awkward, because I'm only level 12. I know how to do movement. I always just hit a trainer. That would have been really funny. Oh, nice. Uh, I'm going to grab this for content. Uh, this would be a great Twitch clip if I pull it off. So I'm going to go ahead and grab that and head into town. Good content. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is the Mart. I want to make sure I have enough items to continue the run here. Mostly revives. Oh, look, my egg's hatching. Very cool. Arcanine incoming. That'd be Hound so sad. Hound hour would be good. Ah, oh, dang it. Because uh, then you wouldn't slash. have to breed. Yeah, that's true. We're if we're we, routing we hot dogs. Hot dog we're run. routing hot dogs right now. <laughs> this is not the category we're going for. <laughs> I didn't sign up for this. 
selling pretty much everything here that I didn't think I'll need. I'll hold that. Um, yeah, let's do this. Uh, Dusty Bond's an interesting TM. I'll definitely hold it. Ultra Balls are worthless in this game. I'll explain that in a second because it's pretty funny. Uh, I'll get like three more just in case. Uh, Pokemon with perfect catch rate in Generation 2 are not affected by ball type unless it's like a Master Ball. So uh, it is literally useless to use Ultra Balls against like a Pidgey. And there's a modification in this where every Pokemon has perfect catch rate. Or not perfect, like catch. Uh, it's one in three to catch at full HP, for example. Uh, but every Pokemon has the best possible catch rate. So every Pokemon they throw a ball at is effectively a Pidgey. That's good money. Oh, I thought it said HMO too. I'm so excited. Uh, yeah, it's the Headbutt TM. It'll always be Headbutt. Uh, ooh, that's Extreme Speed. I'll take that. And I cannot get Rock Smash yet, so we'll move on. Head to the Mart Basement. There's three items down here, and then I'm gonna head out and grab a couple more items in Goldenrod before I head over to Kanto. Nice getting an escape rope. I need those until I find the dig TM, which is sometimes hard to find. I should mention really quick something else that you're always kind of thinking about in uh, full item and key item randomizers. Uh, we have a lot of different like logic options. So uh, one of them in particular is called early fly, and it does not necessarily mean that fly will be early, uh, but it does guarantee that fly is before a few things. Uh, so, for example, Fly will always be before you're forced to fight Misty, as, like, one example. Um, it'll always be before you have to do the Elite Four, as, like, another example. Uh, so there's a couple of these things I'm always keeping in mind when I'm grabbing items and, like, where can Fly be? Because Fly is obviously, like, the most important thing to find in a full item rando. Because it just gives you so much access to the map. That is really good. I now have access to Surf. Wow. And Surf does a couple things. The first is it gives me access to a lot more items, obviously. Uh, it's also the a second good move. thing, yeah, it's a good move. And the third thing is when I go to Kanto, which as I've mentioned, I'm doing soon, uh, I will be able to get uh, a level up to 39 in Vermilion Water. So I might be able to switch my main Pokemon in Vermilion to a really high level, even higher than Cycling Red. I'm going to go up here and grab a couple of items. I'm not going to really force this. I already messed up the movement. Classic. Um, I am going to start the bug catching contest. I'm not going to be participating. Uh, this is just to save some time. There's a valid question in chat that I'm going to answer. It says, how can you PB a randomizer? Isn't it seed dependent? The answer is yes. <laughs> it is. Uh, this is just, you know, it's just a fun little thing. Like, you know, uh, Minecraft speedruns do this all the time. There's the yep. Minecraft random seed glitchless category. It's like the most competitive category in the game. Um, you know, it's just like how well can you run a good seed once you finally find one? Yeah, exactly. It's very, like, luck dependent, seed dependent. Like, in no way am I guaranteed to even finish this run. Uh, I'm going to quit. Why is the estimate 215.37? Uh, so in PB Precipice, I should have mentioned this. Uh, in PB Precipice, the estimate is always the runner's PB. Chen, is uh, is Surf always open, or do you already have the badge requirement for Surf? Uh, Fog Badge is the badge that you need, and I picked that up earlier, so I can nice. use Surf. Nice. Um, yeah, effectively... Well, you guys can't see my tracker, but... Uh, Effectively, every Johto badge, except for the Mineral badge, will give you access to an HM. Um, so, the Zephyr badge is for... I don't remember if I got this item. Uh, Zephyr badge is for Flash. Uh, the Hive badge is for Cut. The Plane badge is for Strength. The Fog badge is for Surf. The Storm Badge is for Fly. That's the most important badge to find, because, again, Fly is everything. Um, the Mineral Badge is nothing. And then the 
Uh, the Glacier Badge is Whirlpool, and the Rising Badge is Waterfall. So those are the badges we're looking for that correspond with uh, the HMs. None of the Kanto badges give you access to like extra HMs or anything. There is a second small thing. Um, well, there's, there's actually two. There's things called badge boosts in Pokemon games, specifically the earlier Pokemon games. Uh, so some badges will give you a boost to certain stats. For example, Whitney's badge gives you a defense boost. So all of my Pokemon just have a uh, one point or a nine eighths multiplier to their defense. And then there's also type based badge boosts in this game. So picking up Whitney's badge makes it so all my normal type attacks have a 1.1 multiplier. There's the mineral badge, just talking about useless badges, but good to find another one. Three down and 13 to go. But yeah, so now that I picked up the mineral badge, all my steel type moves, which I don't have any, uh, have a 1.1 uh, multiplier to them. So like a 100 power steel move would be like 110 power. I'm going to do a weird shot where I save here, and I'm Such going to an interesting Teresa. mechanic. Yeah, there's a lot of kind of strange mechanics in these early games. Yeah, I'm saving there because I'm most likely going to do a little bit of a reset strat here. Um, did I have propels? I hope I bought some. Oh, okay. <laughs> I did already move them up. Um, yeah, there's a hidden item that's like really out of the way down here, and I may be getting encounters in the water because I'm not quite high enough level, but I want to do this now so I don't have to come back. Okay, I don't need the max elixir, so I'll just do a reset and I'll be back at that save I just made. Uh, saving resetting is pretty fast. It saves like reverse movement a lot of the time, so I will be doing quite a bit of saving and resetting throughout the run. Nice to get through all of that encounterless. I looked over at chat and they're still arguing about foxes and dogs. I know, but we- I'm we, glad we, we've started this. We cleared this argument about 10 minutes ago. <laughs> we, we solidified that foxes are not dogs. Some time ago. Yeah, of course. Because if foxes- I mean, come on, right? Yeah, I agree. Alright, nothing useful in Saffron. Uh, I'm gonna do Vermilion first. Um, I have access to Surf, so this will give me a level up to 39. I also have a Rare Candy, which is pretty convenient for this, because uh, let's say I get like a Bulbasaur, right? Like a Pokemon that could evolve. I could just use the Rare Candy and uh, get it straight to Ivysaur, which would be nice. Oh, Shen said Bulbasaur. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> the old rod. Not super useful, but I might get both rods, which would be kind of nice. I'm gonna go ahead and toss an item. I want this revive. Oh, Shen, Very did you know did you know you were muted? Oh my god. Wait, was I? Weird. Uh, yeah, weird. That's crazy, actually. Must have been Big Hot Dog holding me down. <laughs> Is that Oscar Mayer? <laughs> it might be. I don't know. <laughs> Is that Oscar Meyer? <laughs> uh, Muck, not a Pokemon that you want to run. Uh, I will throw balls at it because it gets me level 32, which is helpful. Sweet, that was a 1 in 3 to catch. I'm glad it was first try. What's the level range in this water? Uh, 31 to 39. You know what, let's do Sweet Scent Check to save my hands. That'd be really nice if I just happened to have it on something. Milk drink? I would not want to drink Muck's milk. Oh boy. <laughs> I j I'm just being honest. <laughs> I, I agree, I agree. <laughs> it's a sludge monster, eh, Dev? I Look, I'm not disagreeing with you, <laughs> it's just an oh boy type of comment. Uh, sand true. Uh... Two sand slashes on the team. Good. That is uh, true, I already have one. How many surf slots? Uh, there's three in the water, so I've seen two of them. Uh, nothing great, so I'm going to go over to the Vermilion Harbor, where there are three new Pokémon here. And hope that one of them is decent. So, Shen will sometimes, like, I mean, the, the moving back and forth is also just, like, 
quicker than stepping. Um, yeah. But sometimes he'll be doing it very intentionally because uh, it will not eat repel uh, steps. Yeah, exactly. So let me see a move here. Reversal is not great. Sting is an interesting move. It's slow, but it's very good. Really trying. Nice. That was about average for catching. Pretty happy with that. Yeah. Four is pretty expected. Uh, water gun swift. Yes. Uh, technically perfect coverage. I do have surf. <laughs> the surf goes right on there. You can hit everything. Yeah, everything gets hit neutral if you have a water move and a normal move. Uh, that is why I'll be teaching headbutt as well. For swift, for extra damage. Yeah, we'll give this thing a shot. I'm actually going to teach a solar beam. That's, you know, just for the, the hype, you know? You uh, never know. Never reversal. Up in the lead. Yep. And off we go on to our run again. This Venusaur is not fantastic, but uh, we, might, we might find some moves throughout the run, and then it will become more fantastic. Do you main switch again? Uh, not typically. Once you get to level 30, you're usually barely set, because um, you'll get a lot of experience throughout the run. Uh, there are some situations where the next item that I need, like, there's probably, oh my god, Please, movement. <laughs> this happens a lot in Crystal. Movement in this game is very scuffed. It's really hard to control the character sometimes. Um, yeah, so sometimes, like, how many items do I have left? Probably like a hundred that I still have access to right now. So it's just optimal to go to like quick items uh, that you can just like check super quickly and move on. Uh, however, I might have an item that's required right now on like surge and that means i'd have to fight a team of like level 45s 46s it's awful um so that's why you kind of have to switch because a level 30 venusaur would do a lot better against level 40s than the level 13 houndoom sure um even though the move set in the houndoom was significantly better than the venusaurs we grab the leftovers as well. So these are not, this is the only item in the game that's not randomized. I got a sketch TM. Let's just YOLO that. Uh, yeah, I'll get rid of, let's do solar beam. I'll risk it. That lasted long. Uh, one more item. This is the only item in the game that isn't randomized. It's always leftovers. Uh, we just like to have a consistent held item and leftovers make the game a lot more consistent. So we just don't randomize it. Makes sense to me. And like I'm going to the best held here. item. Yeah, Amulet Coin's debatable. Uh, lets you do a couple strats with money. And then uh, King's Rock is also pretty good. That's just randomly in the item pool. So there's a chance that you get the King's Rock with every item pickup, but there's only one. Same with the Amulet Coin. If you find one of them, you'll typically use that and not force the leftovers. Oh, another... Oh, that's counter, I think. Oh, no, that's rage. Okay, not super useful. Very uh, strange TMs here. Uh, I've already done my... Guard spec by, and then the rest will go into super repels. We will go potionless for now, because I am not a wimp, and I will just not take damage. I like, what, two Hyper Potions in the full restore? That's probably enough. It's also a bit unfortunate. I caught the lowest possible level Venusaur. Could have gotten a much higher level if I was a little bit luckier. But here we are. And I'm going to grab the two items on Cycling Road and probably reset. Uh, I'll probably walk back up. I bad I'll do the strat. Darn. There's a really dumb strat you can do. It's like the same amount of time overall, but it just looks really stupid. Uh, I need cut for it, and I don't have cut. So unfortunately, I can't do it. Is HM01 not cut? Yes. However, oh, but you don't I do have not cut have usage. The high yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah so I can't do it. 
Uh, leave leave the commentary to the experts, Adef. Um, yeah, sorry. Uh, yeah. I'm really stupid and bad, I think. Yeah, I mean, you've proven that, like, you know, at least once now. Anyway, we're going to yeah, head over to Lavender so. here because... Do you mind uh, if I excuse have... myself? Do, do you yeah. mind if I... I'll just... I'm going to recuse myself from the commentary yeah, team. Yeah, that's fine. Cool. Uh, I'll get my cat to come in here and take over for me. I think that's probably better. Yeah, it's definitely an improvement, I would say. Probably optimal. Okay, I'll be right back. Yep, sounds good. Yeah, we're going to head on over to Lavender here. We got a couple items. I'm going to do the same save thing again, because I'm most likely going to reset if all the items are bad, because uh, I would have to fight a trainer to get back, and that is slow. So we don't want to do that. So unless I get something required, I am going to reset back to the save. And we do have Surf, so I can grab a couple items here. The water encounters here are not going to be nearly as high level as the other area. I will check that, because my moveset kind of sucks right now. At least worth a glance if I get a couple TMs here. Uh, okay, the cat said that uh, she wouldn't get on mic with anyone that doesn't have world record in Kahlo, so... Uh... Why'd you pick Kahlo? <laughs> <laughs> Such a hard game, my god. Yeah, well, it's one that you didn't close out, so... I'm sorry, how many world records do you currently have? That's not, We're not talking about me. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's reset back. So this just saves all that backwards movement, and even though I haven't picked up the items, I have the knowledge of what those items are, and knowledge is everything in this world. So I don't really need to, you know, have the have the items, I just need to know what they are and move on. And back to Johto, where things are lower level, and hopefully not destroying me. So we've actually finished pretty much at least most of Kanto, of what we can do now. Uh, there's not too much left that I could do there, uh, but it's still possible that the item I need is in Kanto. Uh, if it is, it'd be really bad, because I'd have to go back later. Um, but yeah, I don't have a ton of access to stuff right now. Doing a little bit of checking to see what all I have left. I have a nice little tracker I can use to figure out where I'm missing items and whatnot. Yeah, so I'm most likely going to just do a backwards loop back to, uh... Oh, what do you call it? Azalea Town. I'm going to do, like, some of the Azalea Town stuff that I skipped. Uh, and I might have to go all the way back to Tojo Falls, uh, which would probably force a reset. So hopefully that doesn't happen. How deep into the run are we right now? Uh, you are at about 32 minutes. Okay, so I still got time to reset if I want. I've got an okay setup, but no component of fly yet is pretty scary, and uh, it's looking like I have to do quite a bit of backtracking coming up, which is also not great. But getting access to the Venusaur pretty fast is good, like having level 30 at this point is totally fine. And having Surf is good because it gives me access to a lot of items. Grabbing all the stuff here. Really want to find something soon though, because if I do that whole backtrack, it's going to definitely be really slow. Yeah, I would say if you want to do a second attempt, you'll have to reset in the next 15 or 20. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking as well. I'm trying to decide if it's better for me to reset, like, now, or if it's better for me to, uh, I think I'm gonna YOLO the backtrack, and then probably reset. So yeah, gamers, on PB Precipice, this is one of the hotfix shows that I run, the, the main, con the central conceit of the show is that uh, runners are allowed to reset so that it's sort of like an actual speedrunning stream that you might see on an individual's stream. Uh, so resetting is fully allowed, uh, and Shen has prepared a few seeds uh, for uh, him to try. Yeah, it's just, when you don't get fly super early, it's a struggle, usually.
Something that's also interesting about these runs is I can check my spoiler log once I finish, and that'll tell me where everything was. So I can take a quick glance and I'll let everyone know where everything was. I am going back here and I am going to do Sprout Tower and uh, what's the other thing I'm going to do? Sprout Tower, Return Kenya are the two things I'm going to do. Yeah, Sprout Tower is quick access to five items and Returning Kenya is a quick item as well. If it's not here or Sprout, it's probably a reset. Oh, not that one. Not here. Yeah, the whole Azalea loop is really slow. It's seven fights, uh, but you get six items out of it. Sprout Tower is uh, one fight for two items, and then you can do three more fights for three more items. And these are much lower levels, so it's a lot faster to do Sprout Tower. I can also teach my TMs here. That's a repel, see if I got anything good. Nothing particularly good. And I have super health somewhere. You might grow off a water stand to hold on to. That won't evolve it, but uh, I I do want to have that as a held item. Yeah, I'll definitely do a reset if it's not here. I have a Gengar Band-Aid on right now. That's interesting. Who hurt you? Uh, a rope at a climbing gym. <laughs> Oh, okay. Just, just know if it was somebody else, I would have been there for you. You know, I would have called their mom. I appreciate that. The uh, the the evolve evolution chaos boys have we have to have each other's backs. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Not like physically. Well, I mean, we could have our backs physically, you know. I mean, I, I'm, I'm like I'm into I, I would like that, but you know, I, if you're just gonna call their mom, like you know, that's you know, that's different. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I learned to I learned to belay yesterday. That's uh, a fancy word. I know it was fun. So now I can climb the tall walls, but That's... the I got rope burn because I was belaying for two hours. Dang yeah, I know what that word means because that's Ace Climbers Up Special in Super Smash Brothers <laughs> Melee. Yes, it is. You don't know that. I do. You, do you actually know that, or are you just agreeing? Well, once you said it, it made a lot of sense. <laughs> like, they are doing that. Yeah. They're attached via a rope, and one of them pulls the other one. <laughs> yeah. You just fully trusted me, though. That could have been named anything. That could have just been Rope Fling, could have been the name. And I was lying. <laughs> icy Climby Icy, that's the name of the move. <laughs> All right, well, there's two items up here, and if these aren't good, it's uh, it's a starty over here. A starty over starty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Back, back to square one. Backy tracky. <laughs> Backy tracky. <laughs> All right, the last chance. Do I just have Pokemon Band-Aids on me? Uh, my roommates have a bunch of Pokemon Band-Aids. Do you, like, injure yourself to catch them all? Uh, no. <laughs> but I do get... My hands do get hurt a lot because I climb so often now. Gotcha. Uh, and I, I do like when I pull a Band-Aid and it's one I haven't had yet. It's very fun. All right. Is that is that a proper hide, reset? Hi, yeah. Uh, all hi, right. Hide. hide let's, uh, just don't... Well, we're going we're gonna to take a break. Oh, okay, perfect. I'll just keep hitting reset. Nothing to see here. Let me know when the break starts. L-O-L. <laughs> I was cold. I just didn't want to distract it's fine. you from, it's your, fine. It's fine. from your intro. Uh, Shen, please, uh, whenever you're ready to do the next run, go ahead. Sure. Uh, count down here. Three, two, one, go. All right, so we are back on our second attempt here. First attempt, I did check the spoiler log. Uh, fly was a goldenrod rocket attack item, and the requirement to do that would be to get seven badges, and then after the seventh badge, 
Uh, you would go into Goldenrod Basement, requiring the basement key. I would fight the rival down there. Uh, then I would do 11 rocket battles. And then after doing that, I would have gotten one item. And it just happened that that one item was the Fly HM. So it was like worst case scenario. So it was a good reset. Um, one of the badges, I think, was also the Elm SS ticket item. And that would have required beating the E4. So not optimal. Probably taking whatever's on the right here. Uh, I like the idea of getting the rival a Chansey because I can fight that for a ton of XP. As long as it's winnable. Uh, so this Farfetch is kind of scuffed, but I'll probably be switching. Hopefully pretty, I can get a good main here. Pretty significant Wait. downgrade from Houndoom with Flamethrower. Oh, did I not register the bike? Nice. Good menuing. Yeah, Houndoom is definitely better. That growth TM is interesting. That could help early game. Tyranitar is one of the riskiest mons you can run. Slow with a 4x weakness. Uh, Mega Kick on Farfetch is interesting if I super YOLO Blitz again. I have both Gold Berries already. Interesting. <laughs> There's two gold berries in the game, and they just have to be the first two items. It's just kind of rare. It's optimal. Eh, they're basically super potions early game, so not too bad. Rival Orb's good. Getting revives is nice early game as well, because it lets you play kind of safe. Don't have to worry about, like, dying too much. Uh, I'm going to sell the growth TM. I kind of value the money right now. I, wanna, I don't want to go back for the T-Tar. I'm going to go route here and just hope that I find something. That's a good money, TM. Probably do like one, maybe two quick resets in early game. Yeah, if I don't find anything runnable, and I've already found something pretty runnable. I'm gonna kick this for damage. Good. Really hope this thing has a move. Gramble's a pretty good mon for what I need it for, because uh, I'm kind of blitzing these. As long as it has like a decent move, I'm in good shape. Uh, Swift will work. make this work, I think. Uh, there's a mechanic in this game where gender is tied to the attack stat of the Pokemon. So female Gramble is in the uh, bo the bottom 75%. So if you get a male Gramble, you know it has really good attack. Uh, most Pokemon are just a 50-50 split. It's just that female Pokemon take the lower half of the DVs. So if I see a male Gramble, I'll catch it and definitely swap to that one, because that would mean that it would have 12 or higher DV attack. That's the random value assigned to the stats of a Pokemon. The higher, the better. So like, a, a perfect Gramble would have like two or three more attack than a worst possible Gramble at this level. And at level 100, it would be uh, 32 points higher. Ooh, that's a really good mon, too. There's a lot of good mons on this route. I will actually catch this. Sky Attack Kingdra. It's about 71% per ball. Good. Yeah, Kingdra's really good. It's really safe. Um, Water it gun. also has <laughs> Swift. Swift I Water think it's Gun better was, than the Gramble. Swift Water Gun was also the, uh, the moveset on... Something you caught last run. Was it? I don't remember. <laughs> nice randomizer. This is not what this trainer's supposed to have. Or, well, this is what he would normally have. Pidgey does not normally have Solar Beam, though. No. Um. I'll just Egg Bomb three times and definitely hit all three. Oh. 
Okay, we're gonna swap to the Gramble. I want the XP on the Kingdra, if possible. Oh, it was the Venusaur, right? Yeah, that yeah that's it. right. I don't know which Mon I want to run, because I probably switch uh, when I get access to Kanto, but at the same time, that's not guaranteed. Like, you don't always get access to Kanto. Oh, come on. I am in a repel now. I didn't see if I got level 5. I did not. I'll heal and equip the Gold Berry. Uh, there's level 5s on the next route, so you would be above level 5 uh, to repel everything. And I'm once again going to grab the Dark Cave item, because you never know. Unless I get something like really good here, right? Uh, I can run from this, probably. Look how close I am to level 5, and it has Dragon Breath. That's pretty bad. Um, yeah, we'll do this. Dragon Breath Flamethrower Kabutops. Oh boy, it has Rollout too. I can run though, I think. Okay. This is actually kind of scary. I may actually wipe to this. Okay. Get me out of here, please. Yeah, it's kind of annoying early game sometimes when you, like, get encounters, because you can't really do anything about it. Yeah, this is a little bit more manageable. But I'm missing. Good. I'm gonna swap up moves just in case it goes for that again. Making five from that. This Articuno will get me level six if I kill it, and at level six, I will not be getting any encounters, so it's just worth the effort, even though it's slow. This will be enough XP to get six. As long as I hit this egg bomb, as long as I as long as I hit this egg bomb. Thank you. Oh, not quite enough. Okay, we're through. Should be level six, as long as I Yeah, as long as I didn't like miscalculate it or anything. Alright, so now I repel off everything. And I don't have to deal with encounters, which is helpful. Miscalculate. L O L. <sighs> what what a word. <laughs> I, you just, you just, uh, is a good guess, <laughs> but the idea that you knew exactly how much experience Kingdra needs to go from five to six is, is a, <laughs> it's, it's an unbelievable notion. <laughs> like, it was more about if guess, the Articuno sure. didn't, like, give me enough XP. No, no, I agree, and I, I understand what you're saying, <laughs> saying miscalculate, <laughs> why, that you were, like, numbers flying through your head. <laughs> There are hundreds of numbers flying through my head. I was grasping at them desperately. I came up with 150. And yeah, it was, it was enough, barely. Hundreds of numbers. Very good. Maybe dozens. Hundreds is an exaggeration. Thousands. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and just sell a couple items here. Um, hopefully make up... Actually, I'm going to hold that. That might be a good equip. Um, suit's not great. This is a... Kind of tough early game, I'm not going to lie. Why not catch him? Because it would have also been level 4 and have an even steeper experience curve. And so Shen valued the experience from Articuno more than catching and getting another thing up. Articuno rocks bad, rocks kill. Bird gone, bad speed run reset. Those were, that was the other thing that I was calculating while I was going through that. Like, Articuno with a 4x weakness is too scary to run. Kingdra's weak to three moves in the entire game. You get hit super effective by Twister, which is 40 power and who cares? Uh, Dragon Breath, which is annoying because it paralyzes and is 60 power. And uh, Outrage, which you can counterplay because you can switch to other Pokemon, wait till they get confused. So Kingdra's like, oh, ooh, okay, Squirt Bottle. Interesting, interesting. Uh, Shen, I believe we will be sticking with this one given okay, the yeah. time that's left. With the, with the squirt bottle now, uh, this is definitely worth playing out. Uh, sure. Because I get access to level 20 now, and all that effort in the Kingdra is useful because Slowpoke is garbage too. <laughs> Alright. I don't think I've oh, ever seen... That's big. Okay. Nice. Nice. 
That I don't think I've ever seen the animation of the Sudowoodo tree bouncing away. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty funny. <laughs> yeah, normally you catch it, so there's no animation of it bouncing away like that. Right. Alright, a little risky going into this fight. I have a couple outs. Uh, dang, not mark anything. I'm I'm notoriously horrible at marking, but like I I know what I have. Uh, no, I did not fail to mark anything. I hope this is winnable. This will be a lot of XP. Smog is good. It does almost nothing. So one of the issues with uh, bird keepers is they have. Uh, bird Keeper AI, which that might surprise you, the Bird Keepers have the Bird Keepers AI. Uh, they are guaranteed to attack every turn. If they have an attacking move, they're guaranteed to use it. So luckily this Gloom only has Smog, even though it's poisoning me every time and does a lot of damage. Especially, okay, well, it has Bubble Beam too. Uh, yeah, I, I, I can get through this like pretty safely, I feel like. I'm gonna heal, and we're just gonna hit two moves, and we'll get through this fight. Yeah, they also pick the strongest move. So the reason it's using uh, Smog every turn is because it's the strongest move it has. Two Swifts will kill here, so I'll get through this here, hopefully. It's nice my Kinger was already faster. I'm gonna go right to the center and heal, I think. Did I pick up an Antidote? I can't remember if that was last run. I think you might have a Poison Cure Berry, but you might have sold it. Yeah, that's that's exactly what I'm thinking. I think I remembered picking up a Poison Heal, but... I have a Heal Powder. You know what, we'll just Heal Powder then. Uh, Mystic Water may as well. Yeah, definitely don't have one. You know, I should probably equip the Gold Berry for Faulkner. Yeah, as soon as we're through this, we're back on good shape. Um, getting fly this early makes me want to rush a little bit. Um, having having Squirt Bottle Fly is always kind of weird because, uh, again, the way that the logic works is such that uh, fly is always before a few things. One of the things it's always before is the boat. Which makes me think that I'm not going to get the pass because of how early I got it. Uh, so I'm most likely going to find the SS ticket at some point. So I'm probably not going to be able to do the pass to main switch that I was able to do in the last run. But we will, like, we'll see it. I, I might still get the pass. And I just got lucky on fly. Or the storm badge is the one that's in a really bad spot. That's also, like, very possible. <laughs> I do have Lovely Kiss for the second. Nice crit. Yeah, it definitely mattered. Uh, I'm a Lovely Kiss. Punished, very punished. Does exactly half. I think this is a three shot with Water Gun, so it is correct to go for Lovely Kiss. There we go. 75% accurate, so. In theory, it should hit. And this should three shot. Yeah, barely a three shot. A max roll or a crit might kill. Kind of surprised that's almost a two shot. Yeah, it did a little bit more. The Mystic Water helped a bit there. Brought it up to 66 power. Alright, through Faulkner. Always good. Very nice. <laughs> almost the correct PM. Yeah, something else you can't see on my tracker is I have uh, all the locations where there's still items, so I'm always marking, like, uh, where things could still be and whatnot. I never marked the squirt bottle. That's the item I forgot to mark. I knew I forgot to mark something. Oh, I'm an idiot. I forgot to get the egg. I do this, like, 4% of my runs, probably. Too busy looking at the tracker. I can bring my uh, team back to life as well. Everything's dead, pretty much. I almost forgot to get the egg again. That would have been a really good comedy. <laughs> <laughs> Forget the egg twice, I don't think I've ever done. And you went all the way to the center as well. <laughs> yeah. 
brain just like use the center, like heal the team, and then you just forget to do the other thing that you're there for. I do that like so often, it's really funny. There's a lot to remember. Yeah, there's so much to track in full item that sometimes the simple things are the hardest. Because you kind of just rely on like thinking about those without putting much effort. And also, like, that's a tough item to get. You're like also, you know, constantly in every battle, like in early game, you're also thinking about solutions to the problems mid battles. So, like, there's also that going through your mind. Yep, a lot to think about. Oh, there's the piercing <laughs> poison cure berry. Mm, the Asian cure berry. <laughs> I got so many like berries that route. Another TM. Hopefully we start getting good moves. <laughs> nice tile for the egg to hatch on. Whooper. U2 main switch. U2 main switch. One time. Nope. It happened to me and I already had a really good mon. I got the Mewtwo <laughs> from the egg. It's like I really want to do it. but It's a hot horse. It really is. But we already got the frozen chicken wings earlier. Ah, oh, right. Ooh, okay. Starting out with the badge. That's good. Got our first out of 16. Oh, that was not the correct movement. Almost hit that guy. Uh, Sing TM, okay. <laughs> Definitely want to catch something. Someone in chat says, ah, it was a horse egg. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Good. I'm not sure that's how things work. Well, you know, you'd be surprised. Maybe. I'm not, yeah, I don't know. Alright, let's blitz Azalea again. Oh, actually, I'm gonna do this because I have a fly companion. I'm saying I warp to Azalea. Uh, if I die, I'll come back here. Um, but if if I get SS and ticket as my uh, my Kanto item, then that means I have pretty good odds of getting fly in the early game. So it's better for me to blitz through and just pick up all the items here quickly and all the items in Goldenrod quickly rather than trying to do all the fights in uh, Azalea. So right now, I want to pick up items fast. Expedition. I don't think I need this to go to my inventory to get headbutt. I actually want that. Yeah, I'm probably gonna be tossing a few items here because I'm pretty low on money right now, so I wanna grab a couple money items. Oh, that's massive. Okay, I have access nice. to fly. That's so okay. sick. I'm almost certainly getting the SS ticket now. That's really good. Okay, as long as I got access to fly, then this is fine. My other key items are kind of bad right now, but... Yeah, I, I do have fly access. So there's a couple ways that that could work in logic. Um, some of them are scary, some of them are not. Uh, typically, if you get fly super early, uh, you know that you're going to get... Uh, one of the one of the items that is going to be required is most likely behind one of the things where fly is designed not to be behind. I know that's a bit confusing, but like uh, fly can't be behind Misty, for example. Uh, but if like cut like the cut HM was randomized to be on Misty, uh, then that would mean that fly has to be early because. Otherwise, there's no spot for it to be because, like, everything's locked by Misty, so Fly has to be before that. It's a bit complicated, but uh, that's just kind of how the logic works in this. I'm gonna grab the content egg again. Hopefully, this time I can get you guys a clip. I'm really sorry I didn't the first run. That's okay. I forgive you. Yeah, it's also nice getting an extra Pokemon because I can use it for, like, catching and whatnot. Let's see how the money's looking. Oh, I got two calciums. I thought I only had one. That's pretty good. Yeah, you're you have quite a few Poke dollars. Yeah, it's about average for Lightum. Oh, right. 
the smart and the balls. And I need this. No surf yet, which is interesting. I would like surf for the Kingdra. Because I might have to play the game. <laughs> it, I, like, it, it sounds silly saying like I might have to play the game, but like... I could just get a high level again, like last run. Right. So, it would be nice to skip a lot of things. Let's try attack. Uh, headbutt, and I need this for sure. I'll grab try attack. I may not use it. We'll see. Was that second one bide? Yes. Yeah, hurts the user could have been a lot of different moves, but they're all pretty much normal type except for submission. Right, what else do I have? I do have Squirt Bottle, so I can Blitz up to Akrotik if I want. With Fly, there's like so much that I can do. Because there's there's really no backtracking anymore, which is nice. It's like pretty much instant to backtrack somewhere. I'm gonna grab the bike. Oh, here we go. Big moment. Yeah, so I just grabbed this egg to get another Pokemon, because it can help to have another Pokemon for some of the fights. Dang it, I'm sorry. I tried my best. I'm really hurt. If you're wondering, like, the meme is that egg is 1 in 8 to be shiny, it's 12%. So, unfortunately, I did not get it, but is that I could in base have. Game? Yeah, that's in base game. I did not know that. It is just high shiny odds. They really wanted you to find out about shinies in this game. <laughs> yeah, they really did. That is kind of weird that they are kind of like throwing at you in Gen 2, but yeah. They're like, look, 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 look what we added. I wonder how many people KO'd the Red Gyarados. Probably a lot because it's, it's you know, it feels like a for I mean, it is a forced encounter, but like it feels yeah. like a forced fight. You know what I mean? Like it feels like almost like a boss fight. Yeah, it really does. Like, I wonder how many people even knew you could catch it, like, as kids. I will say, cool cool fact about childhood me, my first shiny was not the Red Gyarados. I was just about to ask that, if it was your first or not. No, I actually got a shiny Scyther in the bug catching contest as a kid. I didn't even know it was shiny until I had a green scissor. That's awesome. Yeah, shiny Scyther's, like, it just has, like, a red outline, so it's kind of hard to tell. Yeah, I, luckily, they can't run in the contest. It would have been really bad. Red Gyarados was the only shiny I had ever gotten until 2020. Oh, wow. I Which, uh, I calculated the odds, like, napkin math with my chat <laughs> once in, 20, uh, in 2020, and it oh, was no. so much more unlikely for me not to have seen one. Yeah, uh, because I had played thousands of hours of Pokemon at that point. Right. So I'd seen tens of thousands of encounters uh, across all the various generations, some of which had high shiny odds. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I eventually... I was doing Battle Frontier in Emerald, and my first full-odd shiny was an Altaria on a trainer poke. Oh, that's really funny. <laughs> I know. I have a screenshot of it on my computer. And that then not, uh, not long after that, in a no EXP challenge, I got a shiny Reg Ice. Okay. Yeah, as long as you got one, I guess. Oh, Ray said that their first first non force shiny was in Sword Shield. It was a shiny Magikarp. Felt like a slap in the face. That's pretty good, too. Yeah. Yeah, getting a Magikarp or a Gyarados is like, no, I already know this one. <laughs> yeah. I've, I've had far too many shinies to count, mostly in speedruns, and I run away from them. Yeah, I mean, at this point, like, now that I am streaming Pokemon so frequently, I definitely, yeah. s you know, you see them more often. Exactly. Once again, starting the bug catching contest, which will be ignored. Gamers, by the way, I don't know how I haven't done this yet, but if you're not already following Shen on Twitch, wh what are you doing? Um... 
So please All follow Shen, twitch.tv slash shenanigans underscore. The spelling is on the left, and the link will be in chat in a moment. I'm, I'm praying that a mod will post it, because I'm currently... <laughs> I have my mic arm extended all the way up and out, and I am standing away from my desk right now. I thought you were about to say I'm banned in chat, which would have been no. pretty funny. <laughs> I just, I've been sitting way too much this week, and it's feeling nice to stand right now. Gotcha. Then oh, you, the you start the contest for, uh, to quit out. That's really, that's yep. smart. So you can just quit out and get back to civilization quickly. Um, I did just get the SS ticket, which is a great item, uh, because now I can go to Kanto and big Pokemon in Kanto, so I can hopefully switch Pokemon there from this Kingdra it, that's not great. Is Red Gyarados considered shiny? Yes. It literally is a shiny. It, is, it plays yeah, the I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I think they probably mean more in the, like, well, is it really shiny? Oh, of course, right. But yeah, still, yeah. yeah. Do you really feel accomplished for finding a red Gyarados? <laughs> Did you really beat Elden Ring if you use summons? Oh, that's tough. <laughs> oh boy, I got an encounter. I'm scared. Oh, it's so fast. That's not great. Could try to catch instead. I was thinking about that. This is you have. That's 61%. I'll take those odds. Yeah, I have SS ticket now. We were kind of uh, talking when I picked it up. Uh, so that would explain why I got fly so early. Um, one of the component or like one of the things that uh, you always get fly before is the f the time you're forced to take the boat. So most likely, what happened is the pass is somewhere in Kanto, and that means I'm forced to take the boat uh, before getting like access to uh, any of Kanto which means that Fly could not be anywhere in Kanto, so it randomized somewhere in Johto, which is where I found it. So that is how the logic probably worked, and now uh, I'm skipping a lot of items because I'm rushing getting a better Pokemon, but uh, yeah, that's probably why this worked out the way it did. That is not a good mod. I wanted to see if that was a good Pokemon, because maybe I could use it. Oh, back on Hot Dog Pace, let's go. Hot Dog, let's go. I'm gonna run from this, please. Thank you. Strength to Kingdra. Fly to Kingdra. What's the base power on strength in Gen 2? It is 80. Okay, so Pretty it's still strong. 80. Yeah. The movement is very scuffed here. <laughs> I need to make sure I don't hit the trainer, you know? Like, right now it would be really bad. Yes, it would be very bad. <laughs> Okay, so because I have Fly, I can actually do either of the two trainers here, so I'm going to save. Oh, that's another really good find. Okay, so expansion card is required to finish. Uh, you need all three components of the Pokey Gear. So I just need the Radio card and the Pokey Gear. And that gets me to level 50, because the Snorlax you wake up with the Radio card is level 50. Yeah, this is probably winnable. Uh, fly probably does a round half. Oh, that's bad. I die. Dodge. Yes. Thunder hits Pokemon that are in the air, if you don't know. So that was not optimal. Okay. Sludge Bomb Thunder Bailey. Epic. Oops. Yeah, this Kenny is probably not going to work out here, but it has a pretty ridiculous move set. See if I get the freeze. Okay, I don't get the freeze. That's why you save. Let's go. And will this fight be winnable? Like, this is very important that I can win one of these. <laughs> like, really important. Okay, have, come on. You have the Aerodactyl as well. Yeah, it's in the PC. That's oh, why I don't want to do it. Yeah, okay. it. Don't worry, Smeargle is not a giant threat. That's great. Sandstorm will take it. That'll chip it down, you know? Well, that's fine. All right, if it's Sandstorms again, I just win, because it'll get KO'd to the sand at some point. Oh, and I'm going to do a huge trick as soon as I get to town. It's massive time saves. It saves 14 minutes. I can't Did I say wait. minutes? I meant 1.4 seconds or something like that. Oh, okay, it's like nice. not even a time save, but it's cool. 
This Smurgle has slept for so long. <laughs> it's nighttime, like it's just, you know, getting its eight hours in. There you go. I gotta move at 13, right? That's 15, okay. Yeah, so here's the massive time save. Everyone ready? I'm gonna dodge that guy, because that'd be really bad. Uh, I have Olivine City's fly point now because I've entered Olivine, and I'm gonna fly the Olivine and skip the cutscene with the rival in front of the gym. Wow, you, really cool. You you menued to the wrong poke, so I feel like it might not even save. It that was much still anymore. faster. It <laughs> saves like two seconds. <laughs> yeah, I forgot to put fly on the Kingdra. I normally put on my Pokemon that's in slot two, because that's where I'm used to having fly. But the Kingdra is gonna become my slot two Pokemon eventually once I capture something. I love this song. Yeah, I agree. I really like the Olivine theme. The town themes in Gen 2 are like some of the best. Gen 2 is just like so goaded. Mm -hmm. It's so good. Why there hasn't been a post game like this since boggles my mind. No kidding, yeah. When I was a kid, my dream was that there would be a Pokemon game where you could go to every region. I was yeah. like, that would be so sick. Okay, is everything here. Did I get the strength? I'm gonna recheck. I think I was a dummy. Okay. <laughs> I'm uh, pretty bad at forgetting items sometimes. Anyway, There's we're off the camp slots. now. There's yeah. There's a lot to remember when you're doing this. And we can finally take the boat and hopefully get a good Pokemon. Alright, so boat quest. Um, first thing I'm going to do, it's a little bit uh, weird. Well, first thing I'm going to do is talk to this guy over here. So this is the uh, the boat little mini quest. Um, and I have to fight a sailor in order to finish this boat cutscene. The sailor has a level 31, a 26, and a 33, I think. Uh, and my method of winning that fight is I'm going to put my Farfetch, my Gramble, my Kingdra, um, my Golem, and my Rapidash in the PC. And now we're going to go fight them with the uh, the Sun Turn. This should be all right. I mean, it's a great moveset. Should be fine. Yeah, hopefully this goes pretty well. Let's see how it goes. Um, Sun Kern's known for its base stat total. Um... It has the highest, ba uh, lowest base set total of all the Pokemon in the game, uh, and the fight's over, unfortunate, but you don't have to win it. You That's win. tough. So yeah, we move on now. That was it. Man, if Weezing opens anything other than Megahorn, I feel like you win there. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? <laughs> it's only like the strongest move it could have had. We got the Aerodactyl, the Kingdra. What did I teach? Oh no, what did I teach Rock Smash to? It was definitely the Farfetch. The confidence. I don't have to look. I already know what, it, what I taught it to. Yeah, like, sure, fan games, etc. But, like, I want a game from Game Freak that satisfies these conditions. That's what I want. Yeah, it would be really sick. Imagine, like, the in... Legends Arceus that went to, like, every region instead of just, like, the outside areas or something. Right. I would love, like, a traditional art-style, top-down Pokémon game again. Yeah, something like that. Like, made by a small team, you know? I think that could be cool. Uh, Kingdra. Time stage number two, flying to Vermilion, because I already got the fly point for stepping off the boat. That does not work in Olivine, for, like, no reason. That's interesting. Yeah, I can only do it in Vermilion. If you go, like, there's so many times I I go from Vermilion to Olivine, and I'll, like, fly somewhere else to do something, and then I'll go to fly back to Olivine, and it, uh, it just won't have the fly point. It's really annoying. I, yeah, I guess it just must be that Vermilion's, uh, like, boat port is part of the town, whereas Olivine's yeah. is not. Is the music the same in the Olivine? Yeah, uh, it's the port? same music. Weird. Yeah, it makes no sense. I think it even says, like, Olivine City 
like when if you the, pop up the, in wait, that. Wait, that's so weird. If the tag comes up and the music plays, I feel like it... And it doesn't give you the fly point, yeah. Yeah, that's really strange. Maybe it says all of mine port. I never, like, paid attention to that. How would level curve work in a game with every region, though? I don't know. I'm not the one that has to solve these problems. <laughs> that's up to Game Freak. They can... Sh they'll figure it out. Do we have 10 regions yet? They can go up to level 1,000. Oh, wait. Okay, there we go. Just increase the level cap. That's way smarter than what I was thinking. Or we could just include only the good regions, and then it wouldn't matter. <laughs> All the regions are good. Like, I don't, I don't think there's any region I didn't like for Pokemon. No, no, I agree. It's just individual games in certain regions I didn't enjoy very much, but yeah. Fair enough. All the, re all the regions are cool. Shout out to the Sword and Shield post game. Shout outs to entirety of Sun and Moon. Ooh, that's tough. Every, an incredible snore fest. I actually really like Sun and Moon Rando. They're like really actually bad. really good Rando games. Sun and Moon were like so pretty. It's just, I don't know. I don't have the tolerance to play games that slow anymore. Yeah. It was a lot of plot in Pokemon now, I feel like. I kind of preferred when they weren't so plot filled. Yeah, it was fun when like you were discovering the evil antics on your own over time. Yeah. It also always feels rushed when like there's suddenly a bad guy at the end. <laughs> it right. like, wasn't the whole run. Like in Gen 2, you know, you just keep seeing Team Rocket, and it's like, man, these guys are up to something. <laughs> yeah. I will anyway, say, though, enough about Pokemon. Yeah, I'm sorry, so, go ahead. Yeah, back on the Pokemon Crystal here. <laughs> <laughs> nice, there we go. Found Surf. Let's go. Perfect timing. That we can talk about. So now I have access to Surf, which is great. Nice. It's one of those things that's really interesting, like getting Surf, because I know the seed won't sub 2 now, but... At the same time, it can still PB. Um, one of the things that can happen, uh, I've mentioned like how the logic works a lot of the time. Um, so the items can randomize to be anywhere, and then there's logic within the game to make sure that you don't soft lock. So the best like way that the game can randomize is Surf gets randomized to be in Mount Silver, and because you need 16 badges, and the Poke Gear to get to Mount Silver, uh, you would need to get all of those before you have to do any of like surf checks, and it just ends up making the game so much faster because you skip every single thing that requires surf, which means you also never need to get Waterfall or Whirlpool, and there's just like so many places in the game that you wouldn't have to go to, so you skip like hundreds of item checks by getting uh, no surf. But at the same time, it's good to get Surf potentially early because uh, it's a good move. I can use it for fighting. And on top of that, uh, getting Surf early is nice because I might be able to do a bunch of fast checks and hopefully get lucky with the items in those fast checks. The choke is not fantastic. Let's see if I can catch it. That won't kill. Oh, it will. Sunkern is garbage. Okay. Can I damage this? Oh, Aerodactyl is dig. That's nice. I'm hoping this hits itself in confusion here. Might live on like one or two. Nope. Bad roll. Yeah, a bit unlucky there. It's not a big deal if I don't catch this, I just save, so I just revert, but it's nice to have a 33 to catch a 33. If I throw another ball, I'm gonna reset. That definitely kills. Oh, I lived on one. <laughs> oh, that would kill. Okay, it's fine. We'll get a better pick one anyway. Yeah, this is kind of the stride at this point. You just want to get a high level. Sneasel is garbage. I'm not even gonna bother. I'm actually gonna reset because it's faster than trying to run. So yeah, you've seen two of the slots out of seven. Yeah, it has like 100 base speed. 
35 base special. It's worse than Caterpie offensively, on the special side at least. I love... <laughs> I love how all of your, like, your reference points for bad stats are Caterpie and Wurmple. I, I yeah, just it. the bad bug Pokemon. Dude, the game just wants me to run Sandslash. I mean, you gotta go for it. If you get in, you're worthy. I dare you. Well. Well. <laughs> it's just <laughs> life sometimes, you know what I mean? Have Earthquake, come on. Ah, uh, could be worse. Yeah. I'll check the other route. I don't want to force that route too hard. I'll go down here and check it, because I do have Fly. TMF3, Raptor HMF3. What's my timer at right now? Like 30 something? Uh, 41. 41, okay. Thinking upper 30s. That's yeah, a little tight. Kind of a struggly run, but it has fly, so. Could still keep going. I really need to get a good Pokemon, though. The Sand Slash is a giant liability right now. Well, you're gonna have to keep going regardless. Oh, I know, I know. <laughs> you know, however bad it is. It will just not be the most fantastic of yeah. runs. I just, like, how <laughs> is this happening to me today? Spider-Man <laughs> meme. It's just all sand slash everywhere. Oh my god, there's just nothing runnable too. This is rough. Yeah, I've seen three slots. It's only realistic to see one more. Because then it's like 30% to get something new. If I take the Meganium challenge, I really don't want to. 27 is like so low. It really is. I think I'm out of here. I'm trying to think if there's anything else reasonable that I can do. Like, if I get the Fog Badge, it's fine. Because I can do Surf. Oh, there we go. Okay, hey, this is usable. Okay. It's female! So, like I mentioned earlier, uh, the gender of a Pokemon is determined by the attack stat and the ratio of male to female. So I know this Charizard has zero or one attack. So instead of having, you know, like, 8, which would be average, it's either 0 or 1. So I really want to run it as a special attacker, if possible, and as Flame Wheel Thunderbolt. And you'll have Surf. And Perfect. Surf. So we are totally good. That was pretty fortunate. Um, I'm going to get rid of this and teach Sting. Actually, I'll keep Sting for now. All right, so this Charizard is very reasonable. I'm going to save. Just in case this fight's awful. I was very lucky to get something usable. I was running out of the slots. There were uh, six left between the two routes. Three on this, three on the other. I was just going to say a little bit ago that we kept seeing Thunder and not Thunderbolt, but here we are. Yeah. It is always weird like when you see the same move over and over. It feels so like you should see more of like all of them. My chat has a theory on this, uh, because I feel like, and I feel like I can almost confirm it now, um, in Gen 3 randos at least, it feels like there will be one or two moves that almost everyone will have. Um, and the theory is that, like, not that it's replacing one move in the move pool or anything, um, but, like, that the way the randomizer works, it just so happens to roll one thing more often. I don't know if that's the case. I'm not, like, incredibly familiar with how the randomization works, but I I don't really notice that too much myself with, like, getting, like, one new over and over. I have a couple... It feels like it sometimes. I have a couple examples where, like, every single Pokemon I fight will have Sky Uppercut, and then the next rando, like, almost every single Pokemon will have Thunderbolt, etc., etc. Now, if you have a Pokemon weak to a specific move, that would be because of the AI. Sorry, by right. the way, for the poison flashing. We all have to just deal with it. It sucks, I know. My bad. I know that, like, obviously they'll choose the super effective move, for sure, but it doesn't That's make... So it wouldn't make sense for, like, them all to have it. Yeah, true. 
Guys, it's it is faster to toss the antidote than use it. Okay, I'm sorry. It was, Wait, did you saved. just toss an antidote? I I need to toss it. I have to pick that up. It was it's slower to heal the poison. Okay, just deal with the flashing rub is done. I could have I could have used it, but like I was already mid tossing it. I'm like, wait, I could heal the poison. <laughs> Like halfway through tossing it already. That is really stupid. <laughs> it's just how my brain worked. I was like, oh, this is what I can toss. And I like literally noticed it right after. Oh, here we go. Okay, we're back. I actually don't know why I don't have X speeds right now. Give me that. Let me use this on Zard. Calciums are nice because they effectively just boost your stat, so the Charizard now has higher special than it would. And the special stat XP also gives you special defense stat XP. So I'll take less damage from special moves now as well. Alright, well we are eventually going to get the Fog Badge. That is how the seed is playing out. The question is just where is the Fog Badge? I don't have X defense either. Oh, let's boost my speed, I suppose. Okay, I'm actually gonna take a little detour back to Celadon. I'm gonna check the TMs and grab a couple things. Mostly X items. I have like, what, 90, I think? Or like 9,000 when I sell everything? I should be able to get a decent amount of stuff here. Find the art of now. Oh, the charcoal. Perfect. Keep sing for later. Yeah, there's a limit on the bag in gens one and two due to memory. Yep. It's also the reason why the PC slots have limited amount of slot, or the PC boxes have such limited slots, and you have to like swap and save every time because the game is like literally allocating. Uh, memory to a different slot. Mm -hmm. That's the wrong technical jargon, but like you understand what I mean. I can deal with that. That'll last for a while. It's interesting having Flame Wheel on the Charizard too. It actually helps me a lot with my coverage. You have really good coverage right now. Mm hmm. We are going to go to... I did that already. I need to do... This, I think, is the right call. What I have left. Either this or Lighthouse. This seems like the most... Oh, I always talk to Kurt. I don't know why I didn't. Let's go. Yeah, so this or Lighthouse, I think, are my two best options now. So this is Azalea Skip Unskip, where you skip Azalea, and then you find out you probably have to do Azalea, and you come back to Azalea. Now I have a moment where I can look at everything and figure out what I'm missing. I did that whole segment, right? All the way down? Yeah, I did. I did all that. Um, I'm pretty sure I did Route 5. Maybe I didn't. I definitely did everything but uh, Sabrina. I'll have to recheck if I did Route 5. A little bit more distracted than I normally am. I also didn't have a timer up, which has been kind of weird. I'm not, like, looking at my pace and whatnot. You're at, like, 50. Yeah, I kind of figured I was around there. 50 minutes in, and hoping I get access to Surf is a little tight, but... I have three badges, which is okay. And I have three HMs, including Fly, which is okay. This is still on pace. I did 42, I did all mortar. Um, I skipped the item on 38 because it's too low level. I did all of 39, I did all of 40. Do I have Rock Smash? I have Rock Smash. Yeah. Yeah, so I did all of 40 with the Rock Smash rock. All the vines done, park is done. 37 and 36 are done.
I need to double. I need to do the second part of Kenya return. I have a TM on 35. I'm missing one item in the underground, one of the hidden items. I couldn't do the second thing. Okay, I've done a pretty fair amount of stuff. Okay. But the question now is if I want to do Azalea Gym as well as everything else. Yeah, as soon as I get Fog Badge, everything changes. I can go do all the fast stuff. It's just a question of where it is. I have a tower as well. Oh, Shen, this is a scary fight. <laughs> yeah, not with the Charizard. You know what? Maybe it will be a scary fight, even with the Charizard. You never know. Yeah. Maybe the level 16's a Tyranitar. I somehow failed to get the Oko with Surf, and it... Like, it randomizes, like, Focus Band or something. It crits me with Rock Slide, and I just die from Fool. Oh, right, this is on the fight. This lives. This lives too, maybe. Oh, it has Ancient Power and Boost. Oh, that'd been hype. <laughs> Luckily, boost it's a Chansey. Like, 10 base attack into, uh... Oh, nice wide. Yeah, sometimes you bump the L button. <laughs> Funny I knew the rival had that. I should have kept the physical move. I definitely could have. Do you want to just grab everything here, I think? Oh, that's interesting that his name is still question marks because you never went back to Elm. Yep, still have him back to Elm after that. I believe I have the mystery bear or mystery egg, so I will have to go back to Elm at some point. But once again, yeah, I didn't mark the mystery egg. I definitely have it though. Something else that's really nice about Speed Choice is I can fly between Kanto and Johto. That's not something you can do in the main game. Very convenient. Because otherwise you would really need the pass in order to fly between the two, uh, like, areas or whatever. Yeah, that is a really nice change. Okay, I'm gonna skip the gym for now. I have a lot of stuff that's faster. Like Sprout Tower. And when I do Sprout Tower, I'm still repelled. I kind of need to save my repels just in case. I don't know why I did the movement wrong there. That was funny. I guess I could also unwall with cut. That would be an option. I need HML1. Um, what all have I done? I did slow poke well everything. All the force is done. That includes the charcoal item, so I'm only missing Bugsy. Bugsy, Whitney, one item in Goldenrod Underground. Two I items not... north of Goldenrod. <laughs> I do not like that Tyrogue sprite. I've... It looks no, I haven't seen yeah. the crystal Tyrogue sprite, but I don't like it. It's really funny to me that, like, when I think about Pokemon, I think of the Gen 2 sprites for, like, most of the Gen 2 mons, because that's what I played when I was a kid. Right. So that's how I always remember, like, Tyrogue, for example. That sprite. I wonder which sprites... I, I, I don't know that I've ever really thought about that. I think when I think of a Pokemon, almost, like, the anime adaptation comes into my mind. Yeah, that too. I think of the anime sometimes as well. I definitely don't think of the Gen 1 sprites, I can tell you that much. Well, that's not true. I played a lot of Gen 1 as a kid. When you think of Pikachu, do you think of fat or thin Pikachu? Which one is it? Thin because of the anime. Okay, yeah, same. And yellow. I played a good amount of yellow. Yep. It's always funny looking back at the uh, the old Pokemon cards. Yeah. It just looks so weird. I definitely no, had no, a fat no. Pikachu card for sure. Yeah. It's 38 at White House. 
Like, oh, that's where the bike would have been. When I think Blastoise, I definitely think of the uh, the Gen 1 Blastoise front sprite. Mm -hmm. Which is, I don't know, it's like kind of awesome. <laughs> it's like so bulky and like the lines are so thick. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, some of the Pokemon are just like really strangely drawn. They changed like a lot of the designs, I feel like, especially the colors. Yeah. Gen 2 definitely feels like where Pokemon became solidified in their design language. Yeah. Like in Gen 1, it was sort of just like a little all over the place as to what Pokemon were supposed to look like. But Gen 2 is where they sort of solidified some kind of, you know, like consistent language. Mm hmm. Well, we are running out of spots where this last item could be. Not too much left to check. Uh, that's interesting. That makes the lighthouse feel a lot better. I'll do lighthouse immediately then. After this, of course. I'm pretty sure I'm still with health. We have secret potions. We can do Jasmine. There's not Sprout Tower. I'm gonna turn into uh, Mystery Egg first, because that's such a fast check to do. I'm really debating doing some of the Ekiti stuff now. Oh, that's helpful. Okay, Poke Gear found. I'm only one item away from the Snorlax. Oh, we're gonna get to name the rival here. Uh, I wanna equip this. And A it is. Alright, so this guy gives me five items of anything. <laughs> five cuts! Alright, found it. Nice. That's where it was. Alright. Oh, I got Sacred Fire TM. That's epic. What's Shen's favorite poke? I know Breloom is one of his favorites, but I don't. I think he's got a couple he usually cycles through. Gengar is my actual favorite. Oh, then I'm I'm I repped the correct band aid today. Yeah, you did. My poll was correct. Am I like contractually obligated to say Bulbasaur on this stream? I actually, I don't know if the contract renewed. Uh, I don't think we resigned you. Okay, perfect. So yeah, just Gengar is my favorite yeah, one. We decided you didn't have enough value. That makes sense, honestly. Yeah. We wish you all the best in your future streaming endeavors, though. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fog badge. Hold on one sec. I'm gonna call it Fog badge. Give me one sec. If if I call it, it's a good clip. I I, I don't think there's been a clip yet. I'm really sorry. Hold on. Just keep calling it. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm gonna do. So anyway, guys, um, I've been looking for the Fog Badge for a bit. The reason I need the Fog Badge is because the Fog Badge gives me access to Surf. One sec. One more. I have two more chances here. Um, but yeah, it, it, I've been looking for the Fog Badge for a while because the Fog Badge gives me access to Surf. That gives me access to the whole Rocket section. I really need the... I really need the Fog Badge for Surf. That gives me access to like, the Rocket section, several item checks. So the Fog Badge would be really good to find in the lighthouse it's fine we'll just get there for it um i think that's clip worthy yeah maybe i don't know we go to the lighthouse. yeah i wanted to avoid this because it's a lot of fights it's just kind of slow but it is whatever now radio card would be really interesting um because that not only gives me access to the 50 like i said but it also gives me access to the left side of kanto um, and logically, it kind of makes sense that it might be there. Um, the reason for that is uh, because Fly was so early, it makes me think that the big on walls are behind things that uh, that Fly is forced to not be behind. Just because how early I got Fly this run. So, for example, it might be like Sabrina or. Uh, I don't know, like, plain badge and strength is my unwalling item. Something like that. Okay, 
I get the Roar, I get the Hidden Item, Violet. Uh, I can do Fuchsia stuff now. I have a few things I can do now that I have access to Cut. I'm definitely not done with everything now. Oh, I should have used Flame Wheel there. Okay, fine. It's not guaranteed to kill. Really? I feel like Surf kills there. Ah, uh, it's pretty close. Butterfree has a special defense stat. I think it's like 80. I'll run the Calc. Well, if you're going to run the Calc with the Pokemon Showdown calculator, uh, you can't remove DVs in Gen 2. Or, you can't remove stat XP in Gen 2, which messes with the Calc a lot. Alright, then I won't worry about it. It'll say you're going to do like 40% of the Butterfree as your like, max roll, and it's just like <laughs> not even close to correct. Oh wait, I'm on the big stage right now. Uh, if anyone in chat wants to fix the Gen 2 calculator so that we can put D or, uh, stat XP as a slider on the Gen 2 damage calculator and the Gen 1 damage calculator, that'd be really helpful for speedrunners. Uh, because not everyone wants to have full investment into a, a stat or whatever. Wait, are we just saying things that we uh, have good outreach on the big stage? Yeah, yeah. Maybe, like, maybe someone hears me and is like, oh yeah, I know the guy who runs Showdown's damage calculator. I'll tell him to put a little slider on for DBs. Alright, can I do one? Sure, go ahead. Uh, hi, are you a talent agent or manager or representative in the Los Angeles or New York City area? Uh, I'm an actor and am currently seeking representation. Thanks. You know what's funny? There probably is. Like, I feel like there's a lot of people who you do that <laughs> but it's even like if some if you know someone like true you know, yeah I, i'm not asking for for it for free i'm asking for the opportunity to to prove myself gotcha i specialize in comedic work that's it real available upon request will you submit a uh, video of speedrunners and dragons <laughs> oh i found the radio card that is okay that explains everything all right, so Radio Card gives me access to not just level 50, but left side of Kanto, and that is where Surf will be, finally. Okay. So that would explain why... Uh, why I got Fly so early. So, like, that's something always on the back of my mind. It's like, why did I get Fly so early? And it's because everything seems to be locked behind this. Oh, come on. And I'm gonna save, because this might be runnable, you never know. It's me too. Uh, that's Star You, I think. That's pretty I was good. Not, I was not listening to the cry. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, Star You is pretty good. I can evolve this to Star Me. It gets Star. Good mon. I'm gonna hit this with one flame wheel and see how much it does. Uh, so that guarantees the catch. That is exactly enough damage. To... <laughs> it did still exactly the same as if I didn't hit it, which is funny. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Star is a really good mon. Uh, is there a schedule command? I don't know that it's updated for today, but I can tell you that right after this uh, will be more Pokemon. Uh, it's Dangerous Ooh. to Go Alone will be the show right after this one, and that will feature Pokemon Emerald Bingo. So. Oh, that's it. Right. I saw that there was Pokemon Emerald on, and I was like, oh, well, I should find Pokemon for my show. So I reached out to my <laughs> good friend, Shenanigans underscore. Spelled wrong. Shenanigans with an A, not an I. Yeah, that's important. Though I don't feel like really anybody knows how to spell the word shenanigans anyway, so I don't... Honestly you know. true, yeah. It's a hard word. Oh, what's my uh, my time at right now, by the way? Uh, four hours. It's like an hour seven, right? Hour five. Okay. Still pacing, still pacing. This is possible. Yeah? We're about to get surf. Like, get guaranteed fog badge. That's a good item. Like, literally guaranteed fog badge. Actually guaranteed. Okay, it, like, there's like 15 items. It could be any of them, you know what I mean? I do know what you mean, yeah. Like, we will we will, we will be finding the fog badge. We'll probably also be finding the pass at some point. That's good. This pass is probably somewhere in Kanto, and there's not that many items left here. Oh, there's Rock Smash. Okay. I didn't need to buy it, but I did. I want that. 
by four candies. I didn't know what level star you learns at. I can. I knew the levels. You. Yeah, I think oh. one of them's like 53. I make candy for it. Oh, pff, speaking of the pass. Found the pass before Surf, come on. Staryu's Gen 2 learn set is 50. That's the last oh, one. Oh, it is 50, darn. Okay. I'll check Star Me for you. Star Me is 37. That's correct. And that's it. <laughs> Just yeah, that's, one move. <laughs> yeah, it's four, four egg moves and 37. Yeah, it's really funny. Wait, can Surf be in Victory Road? I think it can. I'm actually not positive. I could go fight Jasmine now. What if you had the Fog Badge this whole time? I, do, I literally do not. I know, but what if? And you Look just at my tracker. Been... It's not on the tracker. I would never fail to mark an item. Right. Oh, let me mark the radio card really quick. Yeah, I forgot to mark the radio card. Okay, just getting the pallet fly point for later. Uh, fly me. To the moon? Let's do this. I'm going to fight Jasmine with a star you. And don't it will you, probably you have a water be stone? What was that? You don't have a water stone? I have a water stone. I need the water stone for the strength room at Ruins of Alf, which requires Surf to get a check. So <laughs> I can't, I can't like use the water stone. I don't want to waste the time grabbing a water stone. You have, come on. Are you kidding me? Charizard's better for the Charizard, go! Wait, Charizard's asleep. Still Charizard, go! <laughs> I have a floor store I probably do, right? Yeah, I'll just use one now. Don't worry about having, like, a rock move. Fight's not going too well, I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna miss the Sacred Fire, and this is gonna go real bad. Okay. Right, good yeah, job, I feel Charizard. like it, it lives it. Flame Wheel. Yeah, same. Okay, I think it's better to just heal. If this thing has an electric move, this is not good. I have Sand Slash. Okay, I, if I would have, like, Thunderbolted there, that would have been so bad. Um, That was somehow heal range. Nice dodge. It has Sword Stance. Okay. Nice oh, crit. Nice crit. Let's go. Kind of weird fight. Charizard's just killing it right now, you know. Oh, what kind of rando is this? I love that. Easy. Well, Charizard clutched it. Starmie is definitely better to switch to long term, uh, but not yet. Oh, two TMs. Okay, that could be good. Hey, Slap Daniels, thanks for the twenty gifted. Uh, your subs, gift subs, and bits do help support keeping hotfix shows like this one running, so... Now you know. I just had a bad experience, I'm just going to get a water stand right now. Fair. How much money do I have? I could buy vitamins. I don't have, like, any money. Never mind. Me what is specials. the Berserk Gene for? Oh, it's it's one of the weirdest items. You ready for this? Sure. Permanent confusion for a sword stance boost. Is it a permanent sword stance boost? Well, it's just you send out your Pokemon, it's permanently confused until it switches out. Ooh, a sport TM? Yeah. Let me uh let me learn that. <laughs> so you just get plus two attack as a result? Yeah, it's a sword stance boost, and you're just permanently confused. I don't like that. Is it already like no crunch? Oh my god. In like a really unique situation, maybe that would be good. Yeah, it's a really weird move. Or item, not the move. Bugsy, Whitney, one item underground. Did I have return guard item? I have the item up here. No, that was, yeah, I already did that. Okay, so this is optimal to go. To here. It's also not a permanent confusion. It lasts for... I think it's 255 turns. 
So it's not permanent. If you have a battle that goes 255 turns, you would, you know, not be confused anymore. I Maybe think like I'd be leftovers. very confused. <laughs> Okay, Thank you for remember, at that. <laughs> you, you guys, you know, you know the surf meme that I've been keeping up the whole time? Like, it's literally here. Like, I'm literally picking up the fog badge. There's actually not a chance I don't pick up the fog badge here somewhere. Okay. Like, actually straight up guaranteed. One sec. It's it, There's three items left. It's one of those guaranteed 100%. I'm like frantically trying to figure out what I do if it's not here, and I like may I'm not coming up with anything. It's too confusing if it's not here. Oh my god, there's two items left. I haven't picked it up yet. I'm very confused. It's gonna be fine. Oh my god, there's one item left. It's gonna be fine. Okay, it could be on the route, could be on the route, okay. Couple items left down there. It's it's one of the items on the route. See, it, it just wasn't in Victory Road for some reason, but it's, it's down here. This guy doesn't let me through, so he lets me through. I always love that. Whenever you come, like, backwards in the areas, they just let you through. It's very funny. Well, it's like if you broke into a store, they would let you out. True. In but, like, they, would, they wouldn't let you in if you were trying to go in. Right, yeah. It's like, it's like a one-way door, you know? Yeah. Sense. How do I knock down this? I'm actually so confused. Could it be... So, based on logic, you know it's not a check earlier in the game? It It's very likely not. Well, not the badge I was expecting. Good find. Can I get to any other items here? Let me think. No. I can't. I chat, <laughs> chat, is it? There's like one or two people who keep insisting you already have it. I just they don't already think so. have the fog badge. Yeah, I don't think so. I have surf taught. I'm gonna hit A on the water. It, oh, there's no way. Yeah, no, I do okay. not have the fog badge. Or I would be able to surf right there. <laughs> can you imagine? Yeah. <laughs> can we? Uh, can, sorry, can we ban everyone who said that I had it because they just lost me like three seconds? Yeah, we're on it. Thank you. Appreciate it. Where's the fog badge? I just, like, I've gotten such a large percentage of the items in the run. It's just, it's just like, nowhere else it can be. We have, like, so many meme items that I could get, but they're, like, there's different reasons why we never get them, either for the meme or because they're actually, like, garbage to get. So there, there are, like, other places it could be. It's not like it has to be here, but I, I've done so much that it's just so likely that it's here somewhere. I'm really about to get down this route for one item, aren't I? Could do Janine. Maybe it's Janine item. And we go all the way down here for one item. Nah, it's gonna be on the dancers. That's the meme, that's the teapot skip. Oh my god, it's not here. Okay. Um, you know what? Sure, we'll do a critique now. Hell Why yeah. not? I could also do... This. I know everyone's gonna say Commando Girls. I, I know what chat's saying right now. Guys, it's faster to do this, I'm sorry. Commandos are a false... You're, you just don't do Commando Girls. Oh. Well, maybe we're getting Flash. Well, I don't have Zephyr. The Flash isn't in logic yet. Am I really about to get both? There's no way, right? Wait, that would be way too weird if I get Zephyr now, because then I can do Rock Tunnel. Maybe Surf's in Rock Tunnel, and I get Zephyr Badge. It's like the slowest check in the game. Give me one sec. Bump something. Nice. Epic. Okay, I'm missing... Rock Tunnel... 
Dark Cave, Route 4. Oh god, it could be Route 4. I have the two items around Violet. Whitney, Bugsy. The one underground item. The item to the left of town here. Okay. I do not have a lot left. Uh, for those of you wondering, Shen is clicking at a tracker uh, that yeah. you cannot see that has all of the uh, Fancy checks. webcam movement. Boom. Check out my tracker. All these squares are places where there's still items available. Though I haven't clicked on all of them because I, you know, I'm lazy. I don't click on every single check every time. But I have like 11 roughly places where it could still be. Rough estimate. Bless Emosaru for making Emo Tracker. Yeah, it's very helpful. He's not here. I do Morty. I have this berry tree I skipped earlier. If it's here, I would be kind of sad because I almost did this earlier. I have the two gems. I definitely go Violet next. At least my badge count is still pretty good for my time. So even if I get Surf this late, it's still not terrible pace. I have six badges. Okay, it was not here. I definitely get Violet. Like, I'm pretty confident it needs to be locked by Cut, because otherwise some of the earlier logic would be a bit silly. So I'm trying to check all the Cut stuff. Okay, I have one item down here. It's also really possible I get the Zephyr badge now. Oh, nice, first tile. And then it's like rock tunnel I need to go to. I can also do Route 9. I have cut, so that's in logic. So I could do rock tunnel backwards out of logic. That would be good content, because doing in the dark rock tunnel is kind of hype. Alright, it's a lot of checks. I'll do it now. Then you get the one at the end anyway. Just slow. Oh, you're actually doing Rock Tunnel in the Dark. Yeah. Epic. I need the item at the end of it, and it's just faster to go this way anyway, and finish Rock Tunnel in one go instead of two. I'm really worried it's Route 4 right now. Like, getting Route 4 Sarf is so bad. It wasn't Roar Guy, it wasn't Violet. I only have two more places it can be in... Or three more places it can be in Jodo. So this is not technically in logic right now. That's bad. So Shen is leaning into his screen because although the capture card makes it look like it's just pure black, it is not. Uh, Shen can like, can like make out tiny stuff. No, I'm listening and my TV's quiet. I know, I'm doing a meme. I uh, figured. That's not... Perfect. What am I bonking on? This? I got both wings, what the heck? Okay, 
Okay, I did not expect anything to be in here, but where I did not expect, but where something could have been, is this garbage item. Okay. At least I don't have to do that later. Um, I think I do this then. You're at 121. Yeah. This is unfortunately just a really bad surf. Like, I just can't find it, so I'm, I'm missing so many items that are surf walk. I don't know why I'm saving. I have a Stormy. Badges are at 6 only. This is tough. Um, I got the Route 12 item. Did I get Route 5? I'm pretty sure I did. I need to double check that I didn't do Route 5 after this. I'm probably fine at plus one with Surf. Azalea Gym, Morty Gym, Kimono Girls, Whitney, One Item Underground, all the Kanto Gyms, Route 4. That's all I have left. I need to double check that I got the Route 5 item. Because I may have skipped it because I, uh... Oh, I have an easy way to check if I've done that or not. I'll be like an idiot if I didn't. Because there's just like two really fast checks that I can do. That won't kill, I don't think. Let's see. Not here. Okay, if I have the fly point for Cerulean, I definitely got the two items. That wouldn't have the fly point otherwise. Yeah, so I definitely did that. I'll double check. And then I go to Goldenrod. Yeah, I've been thinking I may have forgotten this item for like the longest time. I get the second item in Goldenrod Underground. It's really unlikely that it's there. Okay, yeah, I've been here. Okay, I'll finish off Goldenrod then and do Azalea. Yeah, this is on really good pace and then just got surf walled. It's really unfortunate. So like what what sucks about this is like I've already done this fight, so that's what I need to do. Um, a lot of the badges are locked behind Surf. So I need to find Surf, but Surf just randomized to be in a bad spot. And, like, when I do find Surf, I still have to get 11 badges after I find it. So, it's unfortunate that, like, it takes this long to find Surf. Um, because I have so much time to have to do after I find it. Oh, what's funny is I might not even get Surf. I might get Flash, and then have to do, like, Rock Tunnel, or not Rock Tunnel, a uh, Dark Cave, and then Dark Cave is where it is. There's, like, a lot of logic that you have to, like, keep in mind. Because Surf could just be in Dark Tunnel, and I'm about to get the Zephyr badge somewhere. Could also be on Kimono Girls. <laughs> it could, but that's slower than checking this item. <laughs> that's the whole point. Kimono know, Girls are slower than doing this. Is T Pat in chat? He was if T -Pat, for a while. If T Pat tells me to do commandos, I'll do commandos. Yeah, we have a bunch of like meme skips that we talk about. T Pat skip is you skip the commando girls, and then T Pat skip unskip is when you realize that commando girls are required and you have to go back and fight them. Yeah, I have, like a few things that could unwall me. All of them are really bad. If I get Zephyr, it unlocks Radio Tower plus Flash. If I get, um, if I get Plane Badge, it opens up Ice Path, Route 45, Blackthorn, Route 46. Uh, any badge unlocks Radio Tower, which is not good. Whirlpool doesn't unlock anything yet because I don't have Surf, same with Waterfall. So, I pretty much have to do all my checks until I find Surf at this point. I've learned, like, from experience, it's always Whitney. Every time I skip Whitney, I get punished. Because it's not that slow of a gym, but... Like, there's so many things that are just faster to do that you don't want to do Whitney. T-Pat is present. Uh-oh. 
Okay, not Whitney. Oh, oh, oh. T-Pass is T-Pass skip. I will literally- I will literally die on this hill. We will get the Morty. I respect it. Guys, it's never Kimonos, come on. Why would it be Kimonos? It's gotta be Morty. It's the only way. Also, I'm pretty confident we're getting rain. uh... We're getting Flash, because I found the Rainbow Wing. And Surf is probably in... Uh, Tin Tower, which means we need Flash to have access to Tin Tower because you're never forced to do something in the dark. So that means I need Flash before I can do the Tin Tower because the ra the Rainbow Wing was in there. So uh, everyone uh, everyone following? So that means it's probably going to be Flash that unlocks me. And then it might be like Clear Bell in the Flash Room. And then finally Surf is in Tin Tower. And then we can play the game. Yeah, this surf is really bad. I mean, the good news is you've checked some of the stuff later that you would have done after surfing. Yeah, right? exactly. This can still, like, PB as well, don't get me wrong. Like, this is kind of a similar seed to what my PB was. It's just unlikely. Because I've spent so much time doing, like, slower than average checks. Um, and I, I still have to check all the Surf stuff, and there's just a lot of things you have to check with Surf when you do get it. This could just be a, like, really late Fog Badge, too, and maybe get a bunch of badges in Tin Tower. Like, that's also a possibility. You did Sprout Tower, right? Yeah, I went back. Yeah. Wait, did I? I'm pretty sure I went back. I think so. I remember Flame Wheeling a bunch of things in there, and the only thing that had Flame Wheel recently was the Charizard. I'm pretty confident that I went back. Yeah, right now, assuming I don't suck, and I do, um, I have two it or well, four items left in Johto. I have Bugsy and Morty, and Kimonos, but we don't speak about them. And then for Kanto, I have one item on Surge, one item on Sabrina, uh, two items on Erica, one item on Brock, three items in Mount Moon, and three items on Route 25. Uh, if I counted everything correctly. Or er, two items on 25. I picked up the hidden item. Maybe Route 25 is the right call. It's really slow. Oh, wait, it's Tangle Never Run. Uh, uh it's not Tea Pat, just. Bugs. Tea Pat. <laughs> tea Pat. <laughs> what? Tea Pat just typoed. <laughs> it says. It's the GDQ Shenny mode, and then it just says, Mommy. <laughs> <laughs> and then he said, moment. <laughs> Asterisk. Thank you, T-Pat. Very, uh, very good observation there. <laughs> it's like, mommy is spelled M-O-M-R-N-Y, but I, the R and the N look like an M. <laughs> so I saw it as GDQ Shen mommy, and I was like, what is happening? Did you just miss the E and T keys or something? <laughs> E is right next to R, and N is... Wait, what? I'm just... I, I don't even... T know and Y are next to each other. Nah, just missed. Keep out with a low accuracy. Shen Mommy confirmed? <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> I can't be a mother if I can't swim, honestly. I don't think that's true. I don't think that's a prerequisite to being a parent. Yeah, maybe it is. I think it, it's a... Most people should should learn how to swim, I think, just in, as a general life thing, in case you ever find yourself in the middle of the ocean, but, you know. It's fine. We'll be mommy as soon as we're through this fight, because this is definitely where Surf is, 100% guaranteed. That is a cursed quote. That is cursed. Do I really do Route 4? <laughs> do I really look for Route 4, Surf? 
<laughs> That's so bad. Route 4 is one of those meme checks, because it's it has one of the hardest fights in the game, but you get three items out of it. It's a six Pokemon rival fight. It's really bad. But at this point, like... Hmm, six Pokemon rival fight or six trainer one Pokemon fight on Komodo. <laughs> it's five for Komodos. <laughs> Oh, it's probably. actually, you get three items. Like, if it was only one item, I wouldn't do it. Come on. Oh my god, how is it not here? There's, like, nothing left in the game. My track are so barren. <laughs> it's Kimono Girls, Out of Logic stuff, and Gyms. We're doing, You're we're doing it. You're literally in the Kimono Girl city. It, just do it. No! T-Pat would have told me to do T-Pat skip on skip, and I didn't see it. This is so cursed. We're doing Route 3. There's no way it's Kimonos. It's never Kimonos. It's gonna be Kimonos. It's provably it. never been Kimonos. And it only loses like five minutes if it's Kimonos, because I only would have checked them like five minutes ago. All right, we have Elite Four, which I will literally never do. I will die on that hill. You don't do E4. I have Route 4 plus Mount Moon, which is what we're doing now. And then I have Brock, Misty, Sabrina, Surge, Erica, and that's it. And Kimonos. I will do Kimonos before I do Erica. I will say that. I feel like, yeah, not doing Elite 4 is so uh, like so valid. Yeah, E4 is like, it's one item for E4. Where are my hypers? It's one item for E4 and it takes like 15 minutes. It's just not even worth considering. If I got Star P4 at GDQ, that's so funny. There's like horror stories of garbage items on E4. Star P4 is so funny if it is. I should have crunched the still kills, I think. Oh, dude, if I got Star P4 to GDQ, I'd be so sad. I should have sport this as a three shot. Fine. Did I get a whole level from this Blissey? I might. This might be a literal rare candy. Level 45 Blissey is pretty good. Yeah, 6,000 oh, XP almost. One of my favorite uh, item randomizer clips of all time. Uh, Raph is on Red. Red's lead is a Blissey. And it Paris songs. So he, sw uh, he like switches out. And then for some reason, Red didn't. I think Red clicked, like, Thrash or something and got locked in. And uh, he had to watch a level 2 level up to level 31. <laughs> it cost, like, a minute and a half of just levels. <laughs> it's so funny. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. Alright, check this out, everyone. This is hype. We get to watch this, the Clefairy dance. Very cool. This is why you play at nighttime. It isn't, but... Are the encounter slots that different for night versus day? No. Uh, there are level differences. Uh, there's benefits to playing at both times. The daytime, the benefit is uh, Pokemon in Dark Cave are higher level, and then nighttime, the benefit is Pokemon in Diglett's Cave are higher level. All right, one item left on Route 4. For those of you keeping up at home, here's the tracker once again. There's tracker. Uh, we are missing... Uh, that is Erica. That is Sabrina. That is Surge. That's the Misty segment. Uh, that's Brock. That's E4. Yellow is not in Logic. And ignore the green on Ekriki. There's no item there. There's nothing in Ekriki. There actually is. Possibly. There's nothing in Ekriki available. No there item. There actually is an item there. Uh, believe it or not. Oh my god, it's not here. I can't believe this. Um, I'll do... Brock. Oh, this is horrible. It must be behind Cut. Like, Brock makes a lot of sense. I think it's Brock or Erica. Uh, you have no Surf, by the way. I know, that's why I'm elixiring now. Oh, okay, I thought maybe you were just gonna go for it. Nah, nah, nah. Apologies for the backseating. Nah, you're fine. 
Yeah, I, like when you said you have no surf right now, I was thinking, no duh, like that's the whole <laughs> problem with everything. <laughs> uh, this probably doesn't kill, we'll see. Nice. I should really teach any move ever, Gus. I'm gonna look at what my moves are right now. Wow, I have like nothing. You know what? Outrage is hype. Let's do it. Yeah, my thought process is it's probably one of the three gyms locked by and cut. It's probably Surge, Erica, or uh, here. Could be Nugget Bridge, too. There's a cut check behind Nugget Bridge. Ooh, we finally get to show off Guard Specs. One of the best items in the game. So, if the enemy AI can't one-hit you, they are 75% to use a uh, status move, like this Dratini is spamming Screech. So by using a guard spec, it will never like fully drop my stat, so it will always have a 75% chance of using Screech. So guard specs are extremely broken in this game, because you can use them to kind of like break AI. It's also using the main speed run. Um, nice. Red has a Pikachu lead with charm. So it's 75% chance to charm because it can't kill you with thunder. So that's how the speed run gets through that fight. You just heal until it misses thunder if it decides to use thunder for whatever reason. Really should have used one more X special because everything on this fight I can't start. Oh my, why are there more of these? It's a beautiful thing. There's so many Chanseys and Blissies this run. I understand they gave the rival one, but... That hey, was just, for XP It's later. just to make red easier. Alright, one item, come on. Easy game, right? It's a good item, kind of. Not really anymore. Alright, chat, fine, you win. I'll do Kamenez, okay? Whatever, yes. I'll do Kamenez. Perfect. Right after Surge. Just... Right, right after I do Surge, I'll do Kamenez. The level, <laughs> the level of uh, of of just disbelief this man has. <laughs> what do you mean? He just refuses refuses to acknowledge the truth. Yeah, I'm not really a truther, you know. What I mean, I just want to keep playing my own game. How many rare candies do you have? Five. <laughs> That's pretty common. There's 13 uh, in the item pool. Oh, right, because it's shuffling, not randomizing the item pool. Yeah, exactly. You know what? This is an outrage moment. That's how it feels when you do, like, an emerald rando where you shuffle instead of randomize, and it's like... Oh, here are a bunch of rare candies. Yeah. Wow, I hate this sprite. I've never seen the front sprite for Gen 2 Smoochum. It's so angry. I love Smoochum's sprite. It's really good. It looks like it's ready to take your lunch money. <laughs> uh, savings for wimps. Let's just go. Nice. How bad could this possibly be with no full restores? What's up, Court? Uh, we're currently on a... Uh... Fog badge locked behind E4 situation. Yeah, this might be literal worst case scenario. We're close. We're not there yet. Oh, that's bad. Uh, we're guarding. Same situation, except, uh, yeah, trying to drop my speed instead of my defense. That's 75% to spam Cotton Spore. Guard spec saving the day once again. It called its dad on me. <laughs> that could have been really bad. Alright, if it's not here, I will actually do commandos. I will stop memeing. I, I, I'm not not doing commandos because of memes. Like, this, this is, is roughly faster. the same time. Yeah, it's it's technically better to do this than Kamenos. I mean, it would have been faster to have done Kimonos when he was actually in Ecritique, but that's beside the point. In a way, yes, because it was also faster to fly away and check other stuff there. Okay, I will do Kimonos. 
it's most likely Erica or Route 25, but commanders are fine to do now. Oh, dude, did I forget Nathan? I'm so worried that I forgot Nathan. Oh, wait, commanders are up here. Sorry, but muscle memory takes me away from commanders, not toward them. <laughs> At least I can spam outrage here and save some moves. What's really funny is we're not getting the fog badge. I'm like very confident we don't even get the fog badge. When I finally find the badge, it's Zephyr, which is really funny. Like after all this, it's still not gonna be fog. Okay, yeah, it's definitely 25 after this. No, it's definitely Sabrina after this. Oh, wait, no, Sabrina's not required until you have seven badges. I'm still on six. I haven't gotten the seventh yet. So it can't be Sabrina. So, so long as you've tracked correctly, you basically have this Elite Four and Route 25. This Elite Four, Route 25, and Erica are the only places the badge can still be. Well, the unwalling item can be. It could be Clear Bell. It's either Clear Bell, Flash, uh, Plain Badge, Fog Badge. Or wait, it's Zephyr Badge, Plain Badge, Fog Badge, Clear Bell. It could technically be any other badge, and then that would mean that the unwalling item is behind Goldenrod, uh, False Director, which is like literal worst case scenario, worse than E4, potentially. Wow, I love the coloring on this Muse Sprite. Yeah. It's just the Trans Pride colors, which are great colors. All right, here we go. I swear to God, if it's here, I'm gonna be really sad. Okay. Yeah, guys, you are all wrong. Every single person in chat <laughs> that said anything about Komodos, wrong. Uh, I do Erica, I think, next. Erica's slightly faster than Nugget Bridge, but one less item long term. This is really wild. Yeah. Let me just double check something. Okay, yeah. It wasn't Starf I was worried about not having, it was Flash. I didn't know if I had Zephyr by now. I was pretty confident I didn't have Zephyr at this point, but I may have, like, mismarked or something. Three. I'm Production. very low on noobs. Can we, can we run a prediction uh, as to whether it's on, like, uh, we could say, like, Route 24 or Elite 4? It would be Route 25. Or Route 25. Route 25 yeah, let me, let me just double check exactly what I have left. I've done this. Uh, I've done Surge. I'm pretty sure it can't be Sabrina. I could just get to do Sabrina for the hype, just because why not? But yeah, so. Oh, actually, it could be on Sabrina, technically, because when I get the unwalling item, because it's probably going to be a badge, that would put me at seven badges, which then puts Sabrina in logic. So if I get anything that isn't the. Fog, Plane, or Zephyr. It could be on Sabrina, which is kind of funny. So if, if I get any other badge, it becomes worth it to do that. But yeah, here's what I have left. Rock, or, uh, Dark Cave, not Logic, because I don't have Flash. Erica, Sabrina, Elite Four, and... Uh, Route 25. There's two items on Route 25. All right, we're getting we're getting a, a prediction set up here. Oh, this is so exciting! I can't believe how wild I'm getting. Oh, this doesn't kill. Ooh, that was like... uh, level sixty-one, I can't eat. Nice. That was a smart decision. Please have an elixir still. Thank you. I'm pretty sure I still have these. Yeah, that was a uh, Shen POV cam. 
Yeah, that's, that's what I see. I see, when I'm looking over here, that's me looking at the tracker to making sure I don't mess up anything. It also gives us a, a, a quick glimpse into the extended room that Shen is inside of. Oh yeah, when I like flip the camera around. I saw maybe a piece of exercise equipment. Uh, yes, there's a treadmill. The Shen lore deepens. I'm really happy I didn't crit that in the heal range. Mr. Mime is like, no, dude, not me. <laughs> I have a move for you. <laughs> not this. Do you really have seal, Dugong? Unbelievable. Lorelei wants to know your location. Oh, that's one of my favorite things about Pokemon. Every single uh, NPC in the game, their Pokemon's return does no damage. Oh my god, it's not here. Well, it's Route 25. Or Sabrina. We have a prediction up and running. Sabrina, Elite Four, and Route 25. Get your points in. Where do you think the Fog Badge is? Now, okay, the, the prediction is faulty because Fog Badge might be in none of those three. All right, well, then we'll we'll count it as, like, whatever the next... Yeah, the unwalling sequen, item. Yeah, the, the unwalling check. Yeah, yeah. Oh, let me just double check. I'm not a giant idiot. Okay, I did get that item. Yeah, we will be unwalled by an item. It will be any badge or the clear bell. Those are the options. I have that. Yeah. Any badge or the clear bell will be our unwall. I can't wait until uh, I, I get, like... Uh, what's it called? I get like the red scale from here, and then the red scale gives me fog badge, and then chat's like, she got the red scale, not fog badge. <laughs> I just want to see them all mass timed out. It'll be so beautiful. Yeah, when you're doing Route 25, you know it's a good run. On the bright side, I've done, like, every check in the game later. Yeah. So the ending will be real fast. Am I over, uh, estimate by now? Am I over 215? No, you're at 148. Okay. I mean, with, with a miracle, this can actually still PB. If, like, every single badge is in a good spot. Because I'm just going to be rushing really fast checks. It's like, fly to town, check three quick items as soon as I get star. So, like, it will be, like, potentially a fast ending. Unless it's the Elm item, in which case it will not be. There is about a million points in the channel point prediction right now. Oh, that's dangerous. There are 985,000 channel points in the prediction. That is Sabrina's really interesting. Sick. Yeah, the, now I will say, oh, it's already over. Okay, uh, elite four people are wrong objectively because there's two items here, <laughs> so it's twice the odds. But that's why it's a prediction. You can get. <laughs> also, I I predicted with twenty seven thousand points, and I was left with six hundred and ninety exactly. That's beautiful. Thank you. Uh, what did you go all in on? Elite four, baby. Definitely on Discord. Discord. Yeah, I'm, I'm tired of this, honestly. I can't believe a friend of mine would do that to me. Uh. Chen. All right, two more what? fights here. Once we're through these last two fights, we have two item what? checks, and then I find out if I missed an item. I'm like desperately Shen trying to think if there's anything I forgot at this point. Because I may have forgotten an item, and it's really bad Shen if I did. Stinky. Stinky guy. Alright, here we go. Big moment. Oh, wait, one more fight. Did you guys know Shen spent. Oh, what? Hey. I'm back. I'm just here to listen to you losing all your channel points when I get it here. Oh, okay. 
Right, the real question is, what do you think it's gonna be? Do you think it's Clear Bell, Fog Badge, um, ri uh, Rising Badge, or, or not Rising? What's the other one? The Strength Badge, uh, Plain Badge. I'm thinking it's going to be Zephyr. That's my guess. Uh, I'll take the Rising Badge. Oh my god, there's one item left. <laughs> Wait, why'd you reset? Uh, because I'd have to fight him because he gave me an item. Please. Oh, thank God. <laughs> it's just such a bad spot. Okay, so that unlocks Flash. So now I have access to all the Flash stuff. So are we counting that as the prediction? Um, uh, yeah, that's the unwall. That's definitely the unwall. All right, well, the answer is Route 25. All right, but there's there's still a lot that's garbage because now I have to check uh, all the Flash stuff. I don't have Surf to check the Flash room, man. I have to go this way. <laughs> like, that's the first thing I should check. All right, now the, the real funny thing is how late can we possibly get Surf? Because, like, I'm still not even guaranteed Starf here, which is really funny. Cue everybody in chat saying, It's not the Fog Badge. <laughs> uh, I bet there are. And they're all awful. <laughs> <sighs> A blinding flash lights the area. I didn't have to do that, but I'm going to check the flash room as soon as I get Starf anyway, so I need to teach it. You cannot pay out the prediction yet. Oh yeah? Why not? There's n Okay, technically, in a way, they're right, because if there's nothing behind Flash, and it's still E4 is the unwall. That's fair, actually. As soon as I find the Fog Badge, or the Plane Badge, then... You can pay it out, and it was the Route 25 item. Okay, like, I think that's fair. As soon as I find one of those. Yeah, two. because it would be funny if you get unwalled, but the fog badge is on the Elite Four. And then yeah, the people exactly. Who put it there are like, uh, so I was oh, right, on, but I please. lost. Just don't make me do it. Okay, apparently Tech refunded the prediction on the pretense that it was too scuffed. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I saw F, I got hype. Oh my god, please. Oh my god, there's one item left in this segment. Come on. Okay, it was Zephyr, so I have to go down to Tuscany. Oh, I want that. Sure, I'll get 99 hit points, whatever. Alright, Tuscany check. Oh, you know what I should have done? I should check the Zephyr badge check when I was there. Oh my god, there's there's actually no way. Um, yeah. Oh my god, there's no way. It could be on Route 44. Because seven badges unlocks 44. Please don't make me do Goldenrod. Like, actually, please. I'm kind of desperate. Don't make me do Goldenrod. Oh my god. It, please be on 44. 44 Ice checked, Path, come on. You haven't checked Sabrina yet, either. I know, but that's slow. I can do 44 Ice Path right now. You didn't get scammed. <laughs> There's too much uncertainty it's in the not, prediction. It's not... It's still possible that that was the unwall. You got all your points back. Oh my god. There's like three items before I have to do like so much stuff. Oh my god. Waterfall, two items, basement. And then Sabrina, and then Director, and then E4. This may be the worst seed I've ever had for full item, by the way. The only thing that would have made this worse was if Fly was, like, late. Like, this is so promising early game because of the Fly, but... Like, everything else was so bad. Come on. Please. Two items left, and then I have to do Sabrina. Yeah, it's definitely Sabrina next, and then after Sabrina, it's definitely False Director, which is like the worst check. 
What opens He's here? Ten. Clear bell. Oh my god, it's not here! Like, how? It's really not here. Okay. Sabrina, it is. I checked both items. On, yeah, I got both items on 25. Because the guy gave me a TM. So it's Sabrina and then... False Director. So Sabrina's in Logic now because... You you are never forced to do Sab oh, Nice, I didn't hate when I do that. You're never forced to do Sab Sabrina if you don't have seven badges. But now that I have seven badges, it puts Sabrina in Logic. So what may have happened when the game randomized was... Oh, I need to save that. Oh my god. That was bad. Uh, the way it may have worked when it, like, made the game is... It put Fog Badge on Sabrina, and then it made sure that there were seven badges available before her. And they were just... One of the badges just put in a really bad spot. That's kind of what I'm hoping for now, because this is by far the fastest thing I can still do. Everything else is, like, horrible. Alright, this literally has to be Fog Badge. Or... Strain. It could still be Strain. Oh, there's a new prediction. Why do you have Sunny Day? Come on. Can I crunch this? Any more turns on that? Like two? Sure, whatever. Now I'm getting taunted by Sand Slash. Like, this is just evil. Ah, uh, that's fine. That's actually good that it did that, because now it's not in heal range. Alright, one in three chance. Oh, it's over. <laughs> <laughs> I hate this so much. The prediction ended right, like, right before we saw it as well. Well, actually, nice. for them, it's a lot before. But for you and oh, me, it's that was before. so bad. All right, so we have Surf access now. Uh, surf is one of the best things you get early in the run because you get a lot of access. Wait, is it early in the run still? Uh, it's before your PB, so sure. Awesome. So this gives us access to a lot of items that we can check quickly uh, because there's a lot of things locked behind Surf. Remember how I almost didn't evolve the Star U because I wanted to check the uh, Waterstone Room puzzle and the Waterstone Room is locked behind Surf? You remember when I was talking about that earlier? Uh, yes. Have you noticed I've gotten 14 levels on my Star Me since I caught it? It's, yeah. Man, that what could have been, right? It's a good thing could, I bought that water stand. You could have been running Star U that whole time. For that whole time. Yeah, I thought about it. It was just so likely I got Surf, like, over an hour ago. <laughs> I should have bet more points. I was correct on this Ooh. one. You would have lost it all, though. You're, you're lucky you got refunded on that last one. No, they did it. We did another prediction. Yeah, I'm just saying that last prediction oh, yeah, would have yeah, lost yeah, it all because yeah. you went on E4. That's true. So maybe betting conservatively was the correct move. <laughs> Gambler's fallacy. True, yeah. Uh, what should I do next? I have machine part. I should do that. Machine part's my best. If I didn't do any GDQ predictions, I would have so many points. <laughs> it is literally my job to watch this stream. <laughs> Pretty funny. <laughs> but I can't help myself. I have to predict. Oh no. Oh, that's Whirl Island. Uh, wow, Whirl Island is so scuffed. Yeah, my item checks now are a lot. Um, it's here next. Like, I have both entire rocket sections. Um... I have Mount Mortar, Minus Waterfall, and Strength. Like, I, I have so much to do now. This is the problem with getting surfed this late. You just have too much to do that you don't have enough time to do it all. 
But if I get super lucky, then still possible. Okay, there's literal Whirlpool. Okay, Whirl Island is definitely on the table now. How much time till I Mercy killed? Out of curiosity. Uh, probably like 30 minutes. Okay, I can at least maybe finish this in time. 30 minutes is about how long it'll take to check most of Surf. So I may be able to do Surf stuff by the time I'm Mercy killed. Okay, you guys might get to see a uh, red fight, potentially. This is the real... I said I would have so many points if I didn't do predictions, but somebody said if you won the predictions, you would have so many points. See, this is what I'm talking Ooh. about. This is what I'm talking about. The uh, the slight gambling addiction is, is not is not helped when I see stuff like that, and I'm like, oh, that's right. Yeah. That's why I play. I'm, like, the worst with predictions. I, I win so few. Or at least that's what it feels like. I only do predictions in streams where I'm not saving up for something. Gotcha. So you don't predict in my stream. Uh, correct, because I'm saving up for the Bahamas. Of course, as everyone is. Every time I come into your stream, I beg someone to reduce the price, and it happens almost every time. <laughs> so expensive. <laughs> what is it, 100,000 to reduce it? Yeah, it reduces it by 100. Yeah, that is so funny. <laughs> It's been it's been reduced like a hundred thousand channel points on it. You gotta respect that. Uh, uh, for those of you that don't know, there is a there's a channel point reward in Shen's uh, channel called "Retire to the Bahamas with Shen." Yes. Uh, and it is one billion channel points. It's actually uh, nine hundred ninety nine million nine hundred eighty thousand or something. <laughs> Uh, because there's another channel point redemption that's 100,000 points that is reduce the price of the Bahamas by 100. And I just pop into his stream and beg people to reduce it because I'm saving up for the retirement. Makes sense. Oh, that's a neat one. Back on hot dog paste, this time sparkly. It looks exactly Oh my god, shiny, same. no way. Hold on. Do you think surf kills? <laughs> oh, no. Dude, wow, how would that had to have been a range? Yeah, probably. 15 and 16 to live there. <laughs> the Growlithe Shiny literally looks exactly the same. It really does. Um, let's do this. Is it time? I can do the Shenana strat. This is something I came up with that's kind of hype. What's that? It's, a, it's like not even a big time save. It's just kind of neat. I'll, I'll show you when I get there. I will say, you would have had two shiny hot dogs in that hot dog run. What do you mean? <gasps> okay, I almost hit the six Pokemon guy. Sorry, it looked different because I did the skip in Olivine and the rival just chills on the water. No big deal. I totally forgot that that's a mechanic and I just wasn't paying attention. Do I have any other TMs for like a good move? Any? I picked up like every item in the game now. I wonder if anyone in chat's like really sad I care the shiny. Are right, you ready for the dumbest uh, strat like ever come up with? Yeah, sure. So you do the first bit of Roll Island in the dark because it's faster. Then using flash. Because all I need to do is pick up this item. And then you escape rip out. Oop, you escape rip out. I have Dig, so it's not a big deal if I run out of ribs. Then you flash this segment, because doing this in the dark sucks. Where's Flash? Nice. So I'm picking up a ton of items here. This is why World Island's really good to go to, because there's like 14 items or something. I'm probably getting the clear bell at some point. Oh, dude, if we just got the item finder earlier, that would have been so helpful. Yeah, that would have been nice. It would have told you where to find the items. Yeah. Oh, somebody just subbed with Prime Gaming for three months and says, GDQ Shen, mommy. <laughs> or sorry, I'll pronounce it how it's actually spelled. Mommerny. Sure. I want this elixir for later. Man, 
can there really still be a wall item well. behind the Elite Four? I believe so, yes. yes. There still can. It is still in logic. It's just now, instead of it being a literal 50-50, it's like 1 in 200, because there's like literally 200 items I have access to now because I got this. All right, you ready for this, the strat that I was talking about? Yeah. Normally, you go to the right and get the last three items. You step out, step back in, do the rest of it in the dark because it's faster not to flash. Uh, but you already were flashed, though. But I stepped out. Um, I'm bad at the game. It's here, and then here, okay? And then here. Up, right, up. Oh, right. Here, and then... Shouldn't just use flash. I, no, I'm pr I, this is good practice, you know? Right. Where's the thing? You gotta, you gotta practice, you know? You can't, you can't just do everything the slow way for the rest of your life, you know? Yeah. And then, when I escape rope out of here, I'll be at this part of World Island instead of the other entrance that I was at a while ago. Because there's a hidden item I need to grab right here. Oh, that's a good item. Okay. Um, and then I can leave this way and gain access to Cyan Wood, which is where I need to get next. Shen. You're very cool. Isn't that a cool strat? I feel like that's what you wanted me to say, so I, I just said it. I figured. Yeah, I keep finding unwalling items instead of badges and stuff. Uh, by the way, I can look at the spoiler log if you, if you just want me to finish. It's up to you whether you value finishing or trying for the rest. Yeah, no, I'll try until, like, I don't think it's possible to finish under Mercy Kill Time, and then I'll just look at the log. I mean, very technically, the show ends in seven minutes, but we're comfortable giving you another, like, 15 after that. Oh, so you're saying I should just look at the log now? I mean, if you want to. All right, I'll probably take a look at it if, if it's, like, that close. Yeah, I'm uh, sure. Card key is obvious, so I will go do that while I dig into the log. Actually, I'm not cheating at all, guys. No cheating at all whatsoever. Yeah, if Shen doesn't center. point the webcam at the spoiler log, then it's never actually opened. Yeah, exactly. Alright, where is strength? Interesting, okay. I'm gonna turn around. I was actually gonna do this next, but I got card key, so it was better to do this. That card key was a red herring, as they call it. Oh, is that what they call it? They call it a red herring, yes. Oh, wow. Yeah, this is actually a really bad spot for this to have been, because I like to do these two chambers together, but I have to do them in the wrong order because... I'm gonna get very lucky here, by the way. Pause for good fortune here. Right. right. Alright, so the puzzle of this Runes of Alpha Room is Flash. I'm going to use Flash and head on to the back and grab the four items here. Wow, no way! It's the plane badge! I can use Strength now! Wait, that's wild. You want to see something even more wild? Oh, it's the other one. Oops, I'm bad. <laughs> one moment. I love when that guy blocks you. You love it? One in four chance. It happens like 90% of my runs. Did I even check these items? I believe I did. Yeah, you did. Okay, cool. I was supposed to. I remember I you, you did because I was thinking about the Lapras, the static oh. Lapras at that time. 
Yeah, I play on Saturday so I can do the bug catching contest time save. Uh, by is the way, here's what you need the water Friday? stand for. Yeah, Lapras is Friday. Uh, this is what requires the water stand. You need the water stand for this puzzle. Oh my god, it's the Earth Badge. Wow, who could have seen that coming? Epic. Where's the clear bell? Oh, really? Man, this is a very linear run as soon as I found... Surf. Like, this would have been really fast. If I got Surf, like... If for whatever reason, the first thing I did when I needed Surf was Sabrina, this could have PB. This is a very linear run. Imagine. Which is Imagine. really funny. If, if you were like, I'll, I'll do Sabrina. I'll just do Sabrina. There, no reason. A moment of pure insight. Yeah. I wonder if there's any, like... <laughs> anyone who's just like trolled like that they've they've done like a scouted seed as like a non-scouted and they're like guys i was kidding the whole time <laughs> uh to me that sounds like cheating <laughs> never forget when i did a speed run of pokemon red glitchless except i could hold select to crit i've already checked these uh, i could hold select to crit and then the champion sprite is a giant kappa did you replaced. actually do that? Yeah, I did for April Fools one year. I had a lot of people on board until I quote unquote forgot to buy a rock slide, and I crit all four Ghastlies in Lavender Tower with Thunderbolt. <laughs> until then, people were thinking it was real. It was pretty funny. No way. Because I was like a minute ahead of world record going to Lavender, and I quote unquote forgot rock slide. Oh, so you didn't hold select for every move. No. Only the like, ones that were ranges. It was only the stuff that, like, required crits, because crits are still slow. Okay, I thought <laughs> I, I thought you held select on every move, and I was like, there's no way people thought you weren't cheating. <laughs> no, no, no. It was only the moves that were, like, required. Oh, That's God. really funny. That's a good bit. I should probably just look where every single badge is and, like, super cheat this. Okay, one badge is there, one badge is there. This, I believe. Waterfall in Ice Path. Oh, wait, is it even random on ice? <laughs> yeah. Wrong spot. Okay, the Rainbow Wing is on 45. That's why I'm heading this direction. What badges do I still need? I need mineral. I'm like trying to figure out exactly what I still need so I can just like go straight to them here. I don't know the names of them, but you need Misty, Koga, and Sabrina. Misty, Koga, Sabrina, Rising, and Mineral. So I need five badges. One of them is in. One of them's locked behind me picking up this. Wait, not one sec, not this, this. Wait, what? Is that the no, no, it's not it's not this one, it's the next one. Shoot, I didn't look what item it was on 45, I'm bad. Oh my god, which one was it? I I can't look at the log and play, it's hard. There it is. Clear bell, we did it. Now I have access to that. Tin Tower will give me time to check where everything is, which is nice. Okay, now once I'm doing the Tin Tower segment, I can look. Oh, sorry, Erica, not uh, not Sabrina. Let me just check. I'm missing five. I have five badges to go. And I already have the fly point for that, so that'll be quick once I go there. Okay, Cascade Badge is Tin Tower Max Revive. That's in Tin Tower. Next is Mineral Bag. Mount Water, Max Revive. That's just Waterfall. Easy. Marsh Bag, Route 26, Ice Berry. Wait, what? Didn't I already get that? Oh, I have the marsh. I just never marked it? Maybe. It's probably worth checking your trainer card. Oh, I have marsh. It's sold and I'm looking up. Um, Mount Mortar... Okay, so two badges are in Mount Mortar. One badge is here. 
I need the rising badge to go in the Mount Mortar. That's also in Tin Tower. So two badges, Tin, two Mount Mortar. And which one didn't I look up? Oh. No. Uh, Rainbow. Rocket base first or hyper potion. Okay. Yeah, so this is a pretty quick finish from here. I should be done in 10, I think. Is that too long? Uh, no, that's fine. Okay, sweet. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, I have to do Tin Tower, pick up all the items here. Once I do Tin Tower, I have to fight three rockets and rocket base. After I fight the three rockets and rocket base, I have to grab two items out of Mount Mortar. And then fly and do red. So it should be a pretty quick finish from here. The problem is I just don't know exactly which items they are, because I haven't memorized which item is which. I don't use the spoiler lock that often. So like when it says rocket base first floor hyper potion, I don't know what item that is in the rocket base. <laughs> I assume it's early in the rocket base because it says first floor. Okay, the two items I need in Tin Tower are Tin Tower Nugget. And what's the other one? Why can't I place that cry? Tin Tower Nugget, Tin Tower Max Revive. Which one were you trying to place? The first one? Yeah, the doo -loo -loo -doo -loo -loo -loo. Oh, I wasn't paying attention. That sounds like Hypno to me. The one it is Hypno. Did. That's correct. Okay. okay. I need the Nugget and the Max Revive. I have no clue which items are those. It would say Hidden. So I'm going to assume I can skip all the Hidden items. I'll save at the Hidden items, though. Just in case it is one of these. How do you do this room? It's like this. I think this is the max revive. It's not. Okay, I suck. Yeah, I think it's none of the hidden items, but it might be one of the hidden items. I'm confident one of them is this. I should have gone a different way, shouldn't I? It's whatever. Oh, never mind. I suck. I would be honest, like, I have no clue which items they are. I'll just grab everything, though. I think that's pretty fair. Grab this while I'm here, I guess, just in case. Oh, that's useful, at least. Okay, so everything's high up in 10. I know the Sacred Ash is the super long one, so I don't have to get the Sacred Ash, probably. It's always funny when there's, like, two hidden items somewhere and you have no clue which ones they are. Yeah, Mount Mortar I also have no clue, so I'll just have to grab all 11 items there. Okay, I'm pretty confident I can skip this item. And I can just grab this one, because I think this is the Nugget. So this should be Cascade, I think? I'm gonna grab the other item, just in case. <laughs> I have no clue what I'm talking about. I think I can skip this one. You know what? Yeah, I have no clue what I'm talking about. <laughs> That's the Sacred Ash, and this is a Nugget? I thought that was the Sacred Ash right there. Whatever. Hey, you you learn. <laughs> you live and you learn. What item is that normally? That's the Nugget. His Rising Badge is Tin Tower Nugget. Okay, we're out of here. Good. Didn't even have to do the rest. That was it. I will say I was pretty confident that, that one was the Max Revive. That one I was at least somewhat confident of. Uh, I've already done the shiny and I've already talked, so I can just get straight here. By the way, you can mark HM7. Yeah, you're right. We will actually need that, so it's good that I found it. I have the card key, I have the clear bell. I have the coin case and the item finder. I have the rod. 
Um, I have the Silver Wing. I have the Pokedex. All right, that's all I have. That's everything. Really filling up the card a bit. I mean, yeah, you checked so many early game items. Yeah. Uh, basement key is Mount Silver, so basement's just not in logic, which is nice. Red scale is in the basement, so I can never get the red scale. The lost item is in Mount Silver, so I can never get that. So those three items I could never get. And the blue card is not even on here because nobody cares about the blue card. <laughs> it's not even in the list of important items. <laughs> So we'll never know. Blue card somewhere. <laughs> and then after this, it's just not order. You know what I could do? I could frantically research which two items in Mount Order are the. What do I need? I need the. E Wait, no, that's the wrong final item. Rainbow badge. That's the one that's here. I need the Mount Mortar Hidden Max Revive. That's helpful. There's only three hidden items. I can easily find that one. And then the other item is... The Full Badge. Full Badge is Hidden Full Restore. Okay, that's easy. That's two of the hidden items and there's only three of them. <laughs> so that's free. There are two items locked behind doing the Elite Four. The first item is given to you by Elm, it's the SS ticket. And the second item is given to you by one of the Sages in Tin Tower. It's the uh, Rainbow Wing item. So there's normally two items that require you to beat the Elite Four. Uh, there's actually usually more. Um, but we have a check on called Nerf ho -Oh Chamber. So one of the chambers in the Runes of Alf requires you to defeat the ho -Oh at the top of Tin Tower. And we have nerfed that so that ho -Oh appears without beating the Elite Four. Normally you have to beat the Elite Four to find the ho -Oh. All right, it said first floor Hyper Potion. Come on, thank you. <laughs> I thought it was this item, I wasn't sure. And we're out, two items to go. So I'm gonna have to use Dig once. And conveniently, we're right here. So just right over here and grab these. Okay, there are only two hidden items. I have to teach Waterfall. Or there's three hidden items. I don't know which of them it is. So we might have to do a little bit of guesswork here. Nice, got a Spark TM. That's a good final move. Uh, outrage, that'll help with red. I'm just happy to see that you're playing on an SP D-pad and not a GameCube. It's I love playing uh, on console for Crystal because I love the SP controller. It's just one of the best controllers. I have never owned an SP, but I have played on one. Yeah. The real the question is, what, so nice. what are we going to play on for SGDQ? I'll have my SP for that. It'll be on GameCube through GBI, most likely. I know, but I'm, I'm saying, are we going to be swapping the same controller, or will we swap ports? I was thinking we would just all have our controller plugged in. Because you can just plug in one controller for port, for four ports. And then have someone swap them? No, you can just all be like, plugged in at the same time. Just don't touch anything when it's not your turn. Oh, I didn't wow, know that you could team better control. No. Yeah, you can have four people playing all at the same time. It would be pure chaos. Well, that's maybe possible. Run. Four mines, one run. 50 50. Do I get to save 10 seconds? Damn it. <laughs> Do not get to save 10 <laughs> seconds. <laughs> I go all the way over here now. <laughs> oh my god, and the movement's just garbage. This is awful. Alright, nice. That's 16 badges. Hey, we have everything we need to beat the game. That was sick luck. Let's go. Oh, wow, it's just amazing found, how found all the badges so easily. So few checks to do so many things. That was incredible. What I will say is, like, this seed kind of would have played itself after Surf. Um, I'm going here. Because what I would have done after Surf was Whirl Island. After Whirl Island, I would have done eventually Tin Tower, because Tin Tower is one of the best spots. I would have done Rocket Base, because Rocket Base is one of the best spots. And I definitely would have done Mount Mortar, because it is the best spot. 
So like all four of the places I had to go, I would have done quickly after finding Surf. It's just, uh, you know, I didn't find Surf. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, phase, I like, phase one failed. I like the idea that we do one segment of the run where, like, everybody gets one or two buttons. We could have that as a donation incentive. For, like, ten seconds, everyone has to play at the same time. We should do that for Sutopolis Gym. That's pretty funny. We would I, never get to finish the run. Like, I get left, you get up, Chris gets right, and keys get okay, down. Okay, we can do that as an incentive. Sutopolis Gym... Four, players, well, uh, one four player, one controller. That's <laughs> really funny. I like that idea. I'll use Splash because we'll, I'm a We'll win. do the battle that way as well. True, yeah, we do the whole gym. Oh, I should have grabbed all the items here so I could have gone, uh, gone and done cover all. Oh, we've got another prediction open. This is one that I cooked up. Will Red have a bug type? Yes That's or no? decent odds. I think True. it's, what, 17 bug types or something? Do you have out of two, one the power six? I do, but that doesn't change the odds. Yeah, get ready to cancel the prediction or end it, by the way, if he leads one. He does not lead a bug, so... Well, they see it after we do. Yeah, but I don't know how well, much delay there is. Yeah, Alright, by the way, this is a little bit scary. Okay, yeah, good. Yeah, Sam lead is actually pretty wild. With Mega Horn? 74, I think I tank after a defend. What are you doing? Okay, um... This is bad, because he swapped the Snorlax. That's fine. That's really good. That has Confuse Ray. Perfect. Three. Four. I'm not gonna risk here. Definitely in crit kill range on the previous one. I'm in too. crit kill range for like 140. Yeah. <laughs> As we how much did yeah. that do? <laughs> it, did it did 130. One, it did 130. <laughs> it did 128. 128. Or yeah, 128, yeah, yeah. Like 140 is what I'm thinking I could die from. Uh special. I lost my count now, I was too busy almost being murdered by a Snorlax. I'm a player on crit now. For the sake of... Not... <laughs> not having to watch this for that much longer. Right. Also, yeah, Shen knows that he can pretty comfortably set up to plus six special, so he might as well. Uh, fun fact, this won't kill. I'm pretty confident. Yeah. <laughs> So broken in Gen 2, it's like actually ridiculous. <laughs> so bulky. Crunch definitely kills here though. Yeah. And that's why I just have the X speed to outspeed the Alkazam. Alkazam What's is Al not nearly as bulky as Snorlax. What's Alkazam's base speed? Like 120? Uh one 110, I think. 135 special attack, 110 speed. Really correct. I think that's them. It might be 115. I know Starmie's 115. No bug types so far. Yep, correct. Dunsparce, there was a bug move. It, Dunsparce it is just true. normal. Yep. <laughs> Mega Horn almost counts. Mega Horn Alakazam. Last chance for the believers. Unfortunate. Oh, tough. Dunsparce with the, the bait and switch, though. Yeah. <laughs> well, I did not PB on your show in a incredibly RNG dependent category. Unfortunate. <laughs> almost. <laughs> Almost no one BBs. I, yeah, I kind of figured. Uh, what are the stats on the Starmie? Hey, look at that. One special, zero speed. Nice. <laughs> nice. Actually epic. Well, GG Gamer. Everybody, please get your GGs out and chat for shenanigans. And please do follow Shen on Twitch. Twitch.tv slash shenanigans underscore. I actually have to sit down so I can give the closing announcements. Shen, any last thoughts? <laughs> Uh, no, nothing in particular. Thanks for having me. If you guys want to do Key Item Randomizer, there's a great Discord. It's the uh, Pokemon Crystal Cinco Bingo Discord. They have a, a bot in there that can just, like, make the games for you. It's really cool. So you can just go to the channel and play Key Item Randomizer. It's really fun.
Gamers, thank you so much for joining us on PV Precipice. I have been ADEF, and uh, gamers, I will see you very soon, and enjoy more Hotfix content right after this.